Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. Um, unfortunately, Fault Force and Trend couldn't make it today, so we have Red Hair has very kindly stepped in to be DM. So hello, Red Hair, take it away. <laughs> hello. Uh, you finished the last adventure. Um, some of you may have some uh, moral second thoughts about what you've done. I, I assume you've filled Kaz in what happened last time? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I, I guess you'll, so you'll you had me at, You had me at moral standards, okay? Which, frankly, don't exist in this group somewhat. Um, I, you know, I just... I, I would be interested in finding out how many people they tortured and, you know... Um, Generally like, speaking, like, there may or may not have been a gruesome murder. Um, <laughs> murder? Which allowed them... Well, yeah, yeah you, you murdered Agatha, right? Uh, which uh, allowed them to, to finish the quest of uh, helping out the aspect of death, um, mm. restoring the natural balance and whatnot. Um, there, there may have been some other way to accomplish what, what you've done, but you've, you've chose this path and I guess everything worked out. Yeah. So you've had a very uh, nice uh, night's sleep. Um, Kaz, you've cured your food poisoning. <laughs> Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> I was poisoned? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why you weren't there last week, because of food poisoning. Unfortunately, it looks okay. like Pater's been food poisoned as well, so I guess... Yeah, I was about to say that uh, the food poisoning seems to be spreading, <laughs> because when you get down to the main, to the common room of the tavern, uh, Patea is nowhere to be seen, and there's just um, Kaz, Daka, and uh, Argoth. Dimrath, Dimrath uh, now, Dimrath. Yeah, Dimrath. Dimrath. Sorry, your character sorry. sheet is, is Argo. Uh, my, my, my character sheet is, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. Lightly outdated, I, I, I get it. You, you've had a change of heart, change your name. Uh, my name's always not... been Dimrath, I just didn't change it on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dimrath. Getting me to do stuff is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's early uh, summer morning. The sun is shining through the uh, windows of the tavern. Marcus steps out of the of his room, uh, approaching you uh, with a little vial in his hand, uh, almost in a theatrical way, uh, smiling slyly, and uh, points at, points at you and asks, "Would you like a little taste of something I prepared for you this time?" Me. Uh, all of you. Oh. Oh. What do you reckon? Hey, Marcus. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I pulled my sword on Marcus last week, Calcium. There may have been yeah. fights in the tavern, yeah. And <laughs> some people lost the tooth or something. Yeah, yeah I got knocked um, out by... I got knocked out by Fiatch. <laughs> Amazing. Marcus pulls out the cork of the vial and theatrically... Um, tries to pour something out of it, but there's nothing coming out, no liquid. And uh, Marcus uh, sighs and says, I would love to treat you some with something. However, my supply line has been broken. Um, there's a wizard up north in Neverwinter, uh, a large city about a day's travel from here, which supplies me with some of the more um, exotic ingredients for my stuff. Uh, however, for a week now, I haven't heard from him. We usually communicate uh, every couple of days. He sends me my supplies. I, uh, I send him his recompense, but there's nothing. I, I remember what you said about uh, the food available around here, um, Daka. <laughs> and, well, I've put a lot of thought in it. And I would like to offer you a mutually beneficial deal. You'll get a trip to the north to Neverwinter, to the finest establishment, culinary uh, wonder of the north, uh, which is the um, Driftwood Tavern. Uh, and all you have to do is uh, contact my wizard and find out what the hell is going on. Okay. I'll pay for your I'll pay for your expenses and for your stay there, of course within reason. 
okay. And of course, you'll be rewarded uh, handsomely. Like so basically, we're going north to Greg's. That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy Pretty only much. had sweet corn for us. I was, I was fuman. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even a vegan sausage roll. What, exactly. what the hell? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, yeah, that's that sounds acceptable. That sounds acceptable, Marcus. Yes, we we shall take you up on that. I believe. Well, uh, here's here's your advance. He hands you uh, a little sack, which is obviously heavy from the coins inside. I hope this should it's not cover a your. Sack. your <laughs> There are no hairs on it, if that's what you're asking. Thank God. He tosses you the uh, the, the sack, which uh, you deftly catch, and there is definitely a lot of coins inside. Good. Good. Um, Good. I'll work, leave Marcus. you to it then. But I need some I need some answers. This is the only supplier in a thousand mile radius which can get me what I need. All right. What's his name? Oh. Um, his name is Finethir Shinebright. He is a very powerful elven wizard, mm. uh, specializing in transmutation spells. Um, he is well known to the area, uh, sort of celebrity over there. He helped a lot with the rebuilding effort because, as you know, Neverwinter suffered a catastrophic cataclysm uh, a couple of years back. A volcano next to it erupted and ruined the city, like almost a quarter of it was completely destroyed. Flipping. And uh, the elf moved there to help uh, the populace rebuilding and recreating the old uh, streets and buildings. Is, it, is that Jim's background? <laughs> he is well respected there and uh, I really need them, so it is of the utmost importance that you do not try to murder him or steal from him. Please be respectful. <laughs> yep. I will do my best. <laughs> Looks at you, sighs deeply, <laughs> and says, "Okay, then I'll I'll leave you to it," and steps back to his quarters. Okay. Okay. Um. So. Oh, have we have we still got the horse and cart, or is that gone? Oh, that's got to be gone. Yeah. So, um, I take it it's a day's ride as opposed to a day's walk. Yes. Okay, so on horseback, definitely. Hey, we got so some. If coins. you want to walk yeah. there, it'll take a bit longer than that. Yeah, well, we, you know, we got a few quid, so uh, let's source some horses, shall we? Yeah, it's a good idea. Good idea, Kaz. <laughs> yeah, I, I I agree with uh, Cobra. <laughs> I think we should get a horse. Uh, what was the name of the tavern again that we need to? Driftwood to? Tavern in Neverwinter. Driftwood. Okay, cool. I've literally forgotten the guy's name as well. Uh, uh, bright, fin bright. Finifere Shine Bright. Yeah, uh, exactly Shine like Bright, yeah. yeah. Even though I asked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm so making all the preparations will take you about half a day, maybe a quarter if you hurry up. Okay. Uh, I guess you'll need food, horses, all, all that jazz, torches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dimmy, have you still got those pieces of parchment glued to your bag? <laughs> no, you got uh, it fixed. No, by no, I got, I got no, it. You got that fixed. I, I was around when I went and you got that fixed. Uh, um, yeah, I think you was, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you were, yeah. Blimey. <laughs> okay, so yeah, cool. Um, make sure we get I, 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 I don't want to answer how he fixed it. But yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's late summer. Uh, the days are very long, and you can definitely start your travel in the afternoon. Uh, travel for a couple of hours, and they then uh, make camp somewhere along the way. Mm. Uh, you know that this area is uh, not very dangerous. There aren't many bandits or sometimes the occasional monster. So you should be pretty feeling pretty confident traveling at night or in the afternoon, especially that you're... Uh, band of seasoned warriors <clears throat> sounds good um, yeah any anyone that decided to have a pop at us would pretty much regret it i think given what we do to people like that <laughs> uh, as a group yeah <laughs> so we, we we got this swagger about us and we you, we're riding and it's like you know it's like um when samurai ride into a town and everyone sort of bows their head a little bit you know they're thinking fucking hell not those fucking psychos <laughs> so yeah <laughs> 
I haven't noticed that your character sheets is delusions of grandeur. <laughs> we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. So the, with the preparations finished, you embark on your journey. Uh, each of you has got a horse. Uh, there's a little with a bare one carrying all the extra supplies that you're, you're, you're carrying, your food and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, Patea, unfortunately, had to stay behind, though uh, she wasn't feeling it today. Uh, so it's just a little sausage party <laughs> with your horses and a demon cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's under wraps for now. <laughs> uh, the ride proceeds without any interruptions. Um, the... After a few hours, the dusk turns into night, and you can see a beautiful full moon uh, shining above the forest road that you're traveling through. It's so bright that you can, uh, despite some of you not being elves, you can clearly see almost as bright as day without any artificial light. Um, and you're getting slightly tired. Uh, the, the horses are uh, neighing. Um, you, you definitely need some rest soon. And as soon as you, you notice that, reaching the general consensus that you, you gotta um, camp soon, um, you see a figure, a hooded figure, approaching you from the other side of the road. <laughs> I can see him. Can okay. you see this? Yeah. I'm... Oh, Patea is not here. I gotta... Um... Leader. Oh yeah. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, you can see him there. It's uh. <laughs> Who's traveling first, Dimmy? Uh, what do you reckon, guys? Yeah. Uh, I'll. Um, I'll, I'll <clears throat> is he I'll, is he saying anything, or is he just approaching us silently? Or uh, the person is approaching silently. He's about sixty feet away. Oh, okay, so he's a fair way away still, so, you know, we're not within sort of, um, saying hello distance or anything, are we? So not I guess really. we'll just carry on. He's moving very slowly, but with purpose. Uh, you can't really make out any features under the hood. Uh, you can see arms, I mean, hands sticking out from the robe. They're extremely pale. Um, not Elliot. Something, <laughs> something very weird about this guy. He's got hands. <laughs> He's moving slowly w without uh, uttering a single word <clears throat> until he reaches about uh, 30 feet away from you. Yes. Yeah, Can we like this. call out to him? I'm, I'm going to get my bow out and I'm going to get a shot ready and use my spell to make me better. Uh, won't, that, won't that be a little bit of an aggressive action? He might just yeah. be perfectly legit, but he might um, be. how about Dimmy, Dimmy detects some evil here, you know? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll detect evil. Uh, you can definitely sense an evil presence in front of you. Uh, this is not like pure, super concentrated evil, but there is a hint of evil in this guy. You sure that's not just our group and not this guy? <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely coming from over there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, guys. There's... Suddenly, suddenly the, the person in front of you pulls down his hood and you can see a middle-aged man, uh, his hair white, very thin. Uh, he's he's extremely slim, almost emaciated, mm -hmm. and he's looking at you with uh, small beady eyes and points a finger at Daka and says, "I know what you did. Ooh. You thought you could get away with it, couldn't you? Didn't you?" And he right. pulls out a, a ritualistic-looking dagger oh, wow. from the folds of his uh, from the folds of his robe. And starts muttering something under his breath. Mm. I'm sorry. It sounds like chanting. I'm sorry, everybody, but there's only one thing that's going to happen here. <laughs> shoot him in the fucking dome. <laughs> you want to shoot him, Jim? Yep, shoot uh, him in the I dome. Mean... Okay, um, roll attack. Glorious. Uh, 16. Attack. Uh, your arrow flies straight at his head. But then uh, it, it gets stopped by by a uh, you can't really tell a force field some some kind of magical armor surrounding him. Oh, it no. bounces off uh, 
harmlessly into a nearby tree. And then, as you do this, his chanting uh, picks up in speed, and you can definitely feel uh, the temperature around you drop by at least 10 to 20 degrees. It suddenly gets really cold around you. Fuck. Uh, you can see your breaths coming out of your mouth, and you, you start shivering a little bit. Uh, his chanting comes to a, a stop uh, when he starts yelling like a complete madman, and then he slits his own throat, looking straight in Daka's eyes. Uh, he slits his own throat, and a, a huge blood splatter, like, it's, it's uh, incredibly, like, almost impossible for a human to bleed this much. <laughs> it splatters all over you, covering mostly Dimrath, but some of it falls on, on both of you behind him. Uh, and the man drops dead in front of you. Holy shit. <laughs> Result, you're gonna have to fucking kill him. <laughs> no, that's gonna be, it's gonna be some summoning spell, isn't it? He's obviously... Uh, I, I think he's um, probably trying to probe Jim's cock. <laughs> Dimraf, Dimraf and Kaz, uh, you should roll uh, Knowledge Religion. Do you have a skill like that? Uh, uh, uh... Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, religion, uh... Do... Yeah, I don't have anything to do with religion. Um, I've uh, got religion. You're um, a cleric, Dimrath. I've got <laughs> persuasion, intimidation, and history. I've got history. That's fine. Uh, then, you, then just Kaz. I, I believe... Okay. Uh, I think Kaz is, um, knows something about... Uh, I rolled a get? 12. And my religion is <clears throat> my intuition. Uh, you've read uh, a few things about behavior like this, and you're pretty sure that this is some sort of extremely evil summoning spell that creates vengeful undead uh, that do horrific things to people subjected to this ritual. I didn't need to refer to my extensive religious knowledge to know that this was some necromantic shit going down here, <laughs> you know, so... Um, yeah, get get ready for zombies, boys. <laughs> <laughs> As you say this, oh, uh, Daka, you feel a certain force around your, uh, your your whole person, like there's something pressing on you from all around. And then suddenly, you you're swept off your feet and thrown into the nearby tree, mashing mm. into it. Yeah, you take three points of damage. Oh God! Like, where, is, where is this thing? You've just been full Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've shit. just been Beckner. <laughs> that, that exactly what happens. You you land a couple of feet away. Uh, you hurt your shoulder, but it's n it's nothing major. Okay. Mostly your pride. Sad. Uh so how you're many both. of them? How many of them are there? Like, and and how close are they? You, to you can't see anything. You, you, you just see um, Daka float up into the air and get thrown into a tree, uh, like controlled by something invisible, perhaps. Let me. Sorry, I was distracted. Then, um, can you say that again, please? Uh, I just said that you, you saw uh, Daka get uh, floated up into the air and slammed into a nearby tree by uh, an invisible is, force. Is bad in it it's absolutely bad i hate hocus pocus fucking bullshit i really do <laughs> um dimmy have you got anything um like uh any sort of form of counter spell protection i've got like or anything like that that we I've, can use i've got channel divinity but that's if it's undead, we need to know whether it's undead or not, I guess. Uh, well, you, can, you can, with 100% certainty, say that this whole ritual uh, definitely summons something undead. Yes. Okay, so I've got Channel Divinity, and it says, As an action, all undead within 30 feet that can see or hear me must make a wisdom save. If an undead fails this save, it is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Well, we got to recover Jim, haven't we? So... You know, Jim's basically sprawled up against a tree at the moment, anyway, so we got to get near Jim. Save me, Kaz, you're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to save, uh, you want to save Daka, and 
Timmy, you want to turn undead? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, hang on, what's it called? Okay, so, Kaz, you move channel. over to Dim, and you can see that he's fine. Like, he slammed, he got slammed pretty hard, but there are, there is no vital damage. Okay, cool. Mostly bruised. Um, so we're, we're probably, um, so I'm just, so Jim, I, I think, uh, or Daco, I think we need to probably get near, near Dimraft. Um, probably be the safest around his most holy presence right now. <laughs> yep, Daka, Daka, Daka. Get the cock out. <laughs> you remember that um, Patea had a really useful thing for encounters like this, uh, the, the stone that allowed you to see spirits, oh, yeah. but unfortunately he didn't accompany, she didn't accompany you on this adventure. Yeah. Uh, Dimmy, you, you take your symbol of faith in your hand and start reciting holy words that are meant to harm and uh, repel undead. Um, let me just... <laughs> Jesus H. Christ! <laughs> there is a... I'm not, I'm not sure which god do you worship, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, the champ. Is, uh... The power of champ compels you! <laughs> Apparently, uh, Dimraft's words worked, because you can hear uh, a terrifying shriek coming from somewhere in front of you. Uh, it sounds like the, the creature that you uh, turned got, definitely got hurt, but it's still there. You can, feel, you can definitely feel its evil presence lingering somewhere. Mm. So how do, we, how do we locate it and hurt it is the... Is a thing, isn't it? So, uh, it's what do you guys think? Yeah, or can or can we locate it and hurt it? Should we not get the F out of dodge right now? You know, uh, um, running away is a pretty good idea gen in general, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess like, can I detect evil now? Because that will sort of tell me where it's located within thirty feet. You want right? to? You want to detect evil? Yeah, uh, yeah, because it will tell me where the shriek is. Like, no, it so. just it just detect evil tells you whether there's evil or not. Uh, it doesn't tell you where it is. Okay. Uh, Dimmy's detect evil is like buses, in it. One never <laughs> comes along, and then two at once. Seriously, <laughs> it's like <laughs> I can tell you that there definitely is something <clears throat> evil in front of you. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so the body is, um, uh, he's dead. But maybe if we decide, maybe if we burnt the body or something, we'd expel this spirit. I'm, I'm clutching here, right? Because there's nothing tangible, tangible for me to punch in the face. Yeah, so... that's a good, good shout, good shout, Cobra Cas. <laughs> As you're saying this, you can see a little boulder. Uh, to the left of the body, suddenly lift off the ground, rotate a little bit uh, in the air, and then speed up towards you. Um, I, do you know what? I prepared all my martial arts life for this. Yeah, Karate Kid 2. Drum technique. Okay, I've prepared for this. I've got this. Um, you or, make or a dodge, I'll... and the boulder slams into a tree uh, above uh, Daka's head, but it doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> fucking drum technique. Narrowly, it, it missed you by a hair's width. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that amazing. Okay, right, okay. Um, amazing. I, I, I think that burning this body um, might help us. So, and unless anyone's got any better ideas, of course. No, I know? think I think the fact they try to they try to tear your head off with that rock means you're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think. Yeah, I I agree. I think we should stay stick. Uh, we should stick close together. Well, when you say stick close together, I think you should go in front of us because you've got <laughs> armor on. Um, you know, you've got significantly more armor than we have. So basically, me and Jim hide behind you, and we use you as Whoa. a human. Whoa. But I'm the one who heals you guys, so you know. Yeah, your faith, your faith is protecting you right now, Tim. We believe. If something, if something happens to me, then like you guys are screwed, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you're the one with all the armor on, Timmy. We believe in you. You can tell. All right, me. all right, all right. I'll, What's the I plan, will, gentlemen? I will crouch and engage slowly towards the uh, the dead body on the floor. You're moving. 
slowly towards the dead body while crouched for some reason. <laughs> yeah. When it you was approach just in case it, I need to roll, that's it. <laughs> uh, when you approach it by about five feet, you suddenly feel uh, like the air in front of you is a little bit more solid than in other areas. And suddenly um, you can see a three claws that manifest in front of you out of thin air. It looked like, like the air is trying to claw away at you. And uh, it, it's aiming for your eyes. Uh, oh, well, I've got my uh, my shield, haven't I? I've got my buckler shield that yes. stuns things. You try to um, block the attack with the buckler, but it it goes through it like it wasn't even there and stabs you in the left eye. Oh. You, you take... Uh... Dibby's like, Aha! I'll use my mighty shield! <laughs> <laughs> you take ten, 10 points of damage. Ooh. That was a nasty, nasty hit. Nice knowing you, Dimra. <laughs> yeah, cheers, lads. <laughs> oh, Your move, gentlemen. We, we, we were following Dimrath, right? So we, we shouldn't be that far behind him right now. Yeah. Um, we were also crouched for some reason. <laughs> In case we had to roll. <laughs> After seeing uh, Dimrath the cock being... with you? Oh, yeah, yeah, the cock is there, yeah. So, seeing as we've seen Dimrath attacked by an uh, invisible force, I guess, and he's screaming in pit and like a girl. Not that I don't know there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think we've, we've realized something's happening, so I'm going to do a forward roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, uh, do an acrobatics check. Yes. And then I'm going to shoot at thin air. <laughs> I'll do a roll. Oh, God, I've rolled an eight. Let me see what I, what I add to it. I'm going to die, aren't I? I'm just going to just die here. I don't think you're going to be able to shoot this thing anyway. What's the total? Um, Eleven. Eleven. Okay, uh, so uh, you do a forward roll and you try to go f between Dimi Dimraf's legs um, mm. and then shoot the thing in front of you. But your shoulder um, hits Dimraf in the back of his knee and he falls down behind you. <laughs> Still bleeding from his left eye, by the way. Uh, but you get in front of him and then try to shoot the thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'll try. So you, roll, you have to roll twice and take the lower roll. Okay. Okay, I've got lots of pluses though, to be fair. So I'm gonna tell you. Oh, wow, well, I literally rolled 19 and 20. <laughs> oh, not bad. And then I've got, uh, I've got like plus 7 to hit. So yeah, 26. Uh, you aim carefully at where the claws that attacked Dimmy were a second ago. Uh, and your arrow slows down a little bit when it passes that piece of air and you once again can hear a terrifying scream coming from around that area and suddenly uh, everything goes back to normal uh, the temperature rises uh, it's once again a late summer uh, night and no other floating boulders appear or nobody is attacked by an, invis an invisible force but Dimmy is still bleeding Mm. Yeah, I need to... Uh... And on the floor, uh, tackled by, by Jim for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I need to heal myself, basically. Um... When you take a look at uh, Dimraf's face, you can see that although he is bleeding profusely, his left eye is undamaged. It's mostly a superficial cut on his uh, face. Phew. Just a flesh wound, Dim. Just a flesh yeah. wound. So He's can gonna I... Make it's gonna leave a, a very sexy looking scar. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> so, can I, like, cure wounds on myself? Absolutely. If you have it memorized. Yeah, so it's 1d8 plus 1d8. Huh? And then it says slash <laughs> SL, which I don't know, plus one. What's mm -hmm. SL? Spellcaster level, probably. Oh, right, which would be three, right? Is that three? I guess so, yeah. Uh, so, one d oh, okay then. You just get D8. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's eight, and that's eight. So, <laughs> so I'm full health. 
glorious. Yeah. Um, so, um, you were already tired, and after this altercation, uh, you were definitely getting exhausted. But there's a dead body in the middle of the road. Are you going to do something about that? Yeah, we're gonna burn it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sensible choice. Yeah. yeah. Let, let, That's let's... how we roll. That's I'd help you, but I'm too tired. I'm just going to go to sleep in the corner. Okay, I'm I'm taking this role playing really seriously. <laughs> I'm getting into sort of character. That I'm I'm just going to go to sleep now while you guys sort yeah. out this dead body. Well, you're not gonna you got to set up camp, aren't we? Really, and then we can use his body as the the fire for the camp. Uh, you can, but it's definitely going to stink. I don't know if you ever smelled the burning corpse. But it's not a very pleasant smell. Yeah, we need we need to um, make the heart to sleep. Yeah, we, we uh, need to get downwind of this shit, don't we? So um, let's. Just I'm a, I'm a war down. hero. The smell of burning corpses is where I was uh, most <laughs> in my adult adult life. Yeah. I love the smell of burning corpses in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've I've got a more per pertinent question insofar as. Um, what the hell did you animals do while I was suffering from food poisoning to warrant a necromancy type figure to come after us? Well, what, what was he on about? There was a nice old lady and she was living alone because her husband had died and then we just went in her and burnt her house down and burnt her to death. Yeah, but she was she was trapped. She wasn't like we released her. I think we I think we did the right thing. I don't know, like you guys <laughs> My, you got. It. Sorry, you got sorry. It. What? You met a nice old lady, and you proceeded to burn her house down and burn her yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah. After she was shooting she her was... in the face with a crossbow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, yeah. That, that goes was... without. That part goes without saying. <laughs> she was like, I don't know. What? Did she serve a really crap cup of tea or something? You know. No, she seriously? was quite hospitable. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah. She was actually really nice to us. She didn't do anything bad to us whatsoever. We just murdered her. Full on murdered her. You may have been trying to uh, raise her dead husband. As yeah. A yeah, she had made like a, a necromancy type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, she was trying. To, you know, she was trying to be evil. Yeah, so necromancy. She, pro she probably needed a bit of therapy. Yeah. Not torture death. Yeah, you know, exactly, um... yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we work with what we have. None of us are therapists. But we're no, pretty... it, it was actually there was no torture. Oh, Jim's it was tough love. She got shot in the head and then then burned, not the the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. some redeeming oh, factors. So yeah, was... we did it. We did it the humane way, humanely <laughs> as possible. Twitching. Yeah, because she was a twitching corpse when you set her on fire. That makes it okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks. I mean, you didn't understand. Setting man. a corpse on fire. Look, Cobra, Cobra, you weren't there. We did what we had to do. We were set the task by the aspects of the dead, and we got it done. We got the job done. Like, yeah, I, I yeah, maybe maybe we could have done it differently, but I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I didn't think it was too bad, but you know, maybe it was. <laughs> well, let's just hope we haven't upset the entire necromantic community. Yeah. Eh? You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I won't say <laughs> that we definitely haven't. But <laughs> uh, I assume you've you've burned the corpse, moved a bit yep. downwind, set up camp, and yep. are discussing this around a uh, nice crackling bonfire. Yeah, I'm already asleep at this point. Room. I'm like, I'm like, sorry, lads, you've got to set it all up. I'm shattered, <laughs> straight up sleep. And the rest of the night is rather uneventful. Um, Nothing except some insects and some stray animals to approach your camp. Um, <clears throat> you wake up rested, although a little queasy because someone just committed a suicide, tried to commit a suicide murder on you, or murder suicide. Um, but you, you pack up and s proceed to move towards Neverwinter again. Uh, the rest of the journey is, is completely fine. You meet some merchants. You meet a pair of dwarves arguing about something, completely oblivious to your presence. And uh, after a couple hours, you reach the, the gates of Neverwinter. It's definitely a much bigger settlement than what you were at before. It's a, a, a city which houses thousands of people. 
and y you've heard it's like a cultural center around here. Uh, it was even bigger before the cataclysm, but mm, it's slowly returning to its former glory. I assume you want to go to the Driftwood Tavern. Yes. Which is not, not far from the... It's uh, in the Black, Black Lake District, known... Uh, it's like a noble district of the city. Can you see the map? Can you see the yep. tavern? Yep. Uh, after a couple of minutes of walking and asking for directions, you, you find yourself in front of a lavish establishment. Uh, um, it's a three-story inn. Um, definitely much more uh, expensive from what you can tell from the outside. Uh, you, you enter... You enter the tavern, and you can see quite a lot of pat patrons. Uh, all of them. Oh, I, I gotta delete Tren. <laughs> Bye, Tren. Um, <laughs> it, it's like a boiling pot of uh, races, species, and uh, people from all walks of life. Each of them sharing one trait. They're all visibly uh, rich, filthy mm. rich. All, they're wearing nice clothes, eating uh, things that make your mouth salivate. Uh, it, it's a beautiful tavern with a giant wear bear uh, skin in front of a crackling fire pit. Uh, and there's a uh, lovely looking middle aged lady uh, behind the, 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 um, the bar, which who sees you and says, welcome, welcome travelers. What can I help you with? Um, well, firstly, we'd like a beer, uh, and then uh, maybe we'd like some information on a wizard that lives here, um, um, a Mr. Shinebright. Absolutely, beer it is. Uh, she points you to a, one of the free tables. Um, this is really not convenient. <laughs> You take your seat all around it, and uh, peop servants bring you some wonderful meals to partake in, uh, a few types of beer, um, a flagon of wine, and, and this is all the good stuff. Uh, you, can, you can tell uh, the, the bill you're going to get is not, not going to be low, but thankfully Marcus is paying for everything, mm -hmm. so you're just enjoying all the nice meals. Uh, after you've, you've eaten and drank, um, the, the lady which intro who introduces herself as, um, what was her name? Sorry. I lost, I lost the plot. Uh, Madame Rosen, uh, who's a tall brunette, uh, a, in her late 40s, you, you'd say. Uh, she has a very noble look around her. Like um, You can tell that she is not a simple barkeeper. She came from the higher echelons of the society. Uh, she approaches you with a smile and says, uh, Fine bright, you said. Yes. I, I'm afraid I don't have uh, good news. Fine bright disappeared about a week ago. Mm -hmm. uh. Um, it, it, does uh, anyone know uh, when it well, disappeared? You clearly don't know where he is, but are there um, any clues as to where he went? Well, his apprentice took over his uh, tower and all the duties of the uh, oh, prime all his suspect duties. right there. Prime suspect right there. Uh, however, we don't know. He, he he was there fixing the Black Lake District's roads one day. And the other, he just didn't show up. Nobody knows where he is. Uh, his apprentice uh, had sent people uh, searching throughout Neverwinter on, on all the nearby lands. But mm, as far as we know, he just vanished without a trace one day. I hasn't sent this. anyone to Fandelver in a week, has he? This apprentice, very, uh, very suspicious, very suspicious Mas little apprentice he has. Master Noak. Uh, he's called he calls himself or rather 
Uh, he, he calls himself an master apprentice. and he's an apprentice. He was an apprentice for over 30 years. Uh, Finebright didn't really treat him all that well, uh, even though he'd been nothing but loyal. Um, from what we hear, uh, he just used them for cooking, cleaning, all the chores that he didn't really feel like doing. Despite the man being a talented wizard himself, he was just a servant. Yeah. Well, I got now, a big I guess problem. He has his own practice. I got a big problem with anyone that calls themselves master if they're not a fourth dan. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you know, does, does this guy even train? Uh, she looks so. at you confused, not really knowing what dan is. <laughs> Smiles and nods. <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. Well. Um, well, I'm sorry I couldn't be a, of much help. You could try speaking to Master Noak. Um, yeah, I, I think know we, the pays apprentice. people handsomely for any news about his master. Yeah, yeah former I master, I should to. say. Yeah. Well, maybe not, maybe not, eh? Maybe not. <laughs> you might not be dead. <laughs> Is there anything else you require? Uh, yeah, I'm, we may require um, some accommodation. Absolutely. Um, we have so. uh, quite a few rooms for you to choose from, depending on, obviously, your budget. Oh, money is no object for us. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. He uh, did say within reason, Jim. He Just did speak say to within whatever reason. servant and they'll lead you to your quarters. He did Whenever say we were reason, Dimrath, but do you remember what he tried how what he tried with you? I think we should pay him back by just staying in the most expensive place possible. Don't, and don't think twice about it. I don't, any I don't want him business. to think that I owe him anything. Oh fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Alright, we'll we'll have your cheapest room actually. We'll have your cheapest room. Yeah, yeah. I would like each of you to roll on perception. Oh god. Oh my perception's good. Uh, eight. Oh, it's not that good. I rolled a three. <laughs> uh... Uh... Wait, my perception isn't... I thought it was higher than this. You are a ranger. You should be pretty good at noticing things. Yeah, I rolled a 17. 17? Yeah. As you're discussing this, you notice that the uh, tavern's door open. But nobody steps in, at least at first you think so. But then when you look lower, you can... At first you think you're hallucinating, but you haven't taken any of the Marcus's special um, potions. So this should be real. There's a sheep walking into the tavern. A regular old sheep, white, uh, white fur, uh, curled horns, black face. And it's definitely carrying something in its mouth. You two don't notice it. It's just Dimrath. <laughs> uh, so, like, I'm I'm gonna tap Judge Daco on the shoulder um, to draw his attention, and I'm gonna be like, "Can you see? Can you see this? This? Can you can you see what's just walked in the tavern? <laughs> I believe you have like some talking to animals skills, right? I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, you a... turn around and you notice uh, the aforementioned sheep looking around the place, like scanning the room with uh, almost human intelligence, um, mm. looking for something. What? Which? What sort of level human intelligence? Like? When, <laughs> and when you <laughs> <laughs> like, is, like is it is it, like... is it is it is it is it bezel level of intelligence or is it Blood Bowl three Discord user level of intelligence? <laughs> uh, a bit higher than Blood Bowl three Discord. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna. When, I'm gonna. When the sheep notices uh, you look at at it, it yeah. approaches you with confidence no. and uh, bleats through the thing <laughs> in its mouth, pointing uh, like almost trying to uh, give you, uh, trying to make you take the thing from his mouth. Oh, okay, I'll take the thing from it, his mouth. Whatever. It when is. it's when, when it's close to you, you know, you know this is like a parchment, a piece of paper, mm. uh, crumpled in its uh, in its jaws. Okay, yeah, I'll take it out and read it then. Let's go. Uh, it, uh, it's uh peeled, and uh, on the peel it said, uh, understandable to you perfectly, uh, crawl of speak to animals. Ah, well there you go. 
I can just cast it anyway, though. I don't need a scroll, but that's okay. Um, the sheep go looks at you and goes, Meh. <laughs> 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 is it better to use the scroll, or is it better just to cast my spell? It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter. I'll cast my spell, then. Let's go. Uh, as you recite the spell, uh, at which you can see the sheep is getting quite excited when you're trying, when you're, <laughs> you're starting to uh, the incantation, and uh, you finish the spell, and and the sheep looks at you and says, "Oh, thank the heavens! Finally, not some troglodyte! Can you understand me? Can you hear me? Can you can you comprehend what I'm saying?" I certainly can, Mister Sheep. <laughs> And you two just just uh, hear bleeding, and uh, uh, Daka talking to a sheep in a tavern. I feel like I need to have one kind of uh, look for Jim whenever I D and D game, and it's this. <laughs> yeah. He's talking to a friggin' sheep now, Dimra. Uh, meanwhile, the sheep mate. keeps going. What's your name, uh, my gentleman and scholar? My name is Finethir Shinebright. Oh. I am I am a master oh. wizard. However, I uh, fell into some trouble recently. Could you <laughs> could you please help me? I can pay you handsomely. I can Ooh. give you if you give you magic, gold, whatever you desire. Just. I need to get rid of this wretched form. Mm, yes, I, I believe we can help, but we'll need a, we'll need to be paid very handsomely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I am a, a famous, local, powerful wizard with contacts, and I can provide you anything you desire. I just need opposable thumbs. <laughs> Excellent. I know how that feels. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Um... How did you end up as a sheep? You can't, you can't I'm, speak to I'm, him. I'm, yeah, well, I'm hearing Jim talk about okay. getting paid, and I'm like, Jim, what's going on? What right. are you doing? Hang on, hang on. I don't know if you can actually hear Jim, or whether Jim is yeah, actually... Do, you hear me, do okay. they hear me talking, or do they hear me bleating? Why are you ble yeah, why are you no, bleating? No, 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 you, you, you are speaking like a human, and the sheep can understand you. Right. Oh, so we can understand Jim. like a sheep, and, right. but you can understand it's through magic, like a magic translator. Right, okay. right. So we do know what you Okay, well in that case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these two away and whisper to them, because, you know, so that people don't know that uh, this, is, this is the wizard. And he's been turned into a sheep, and he wants us I'll, to turn him ask back. Ask him how. Ask him how. How, how, how did you? Suddenly, mm. one of the servants approaches the sheep, and starts chasing it away, showing you, "Get the hell out of here! What are you doing here again?" <laughs> and slams it, uh, like banked it a little bit, kick, trying to wow. kick it, kick it out. Hey, yeah, leave him alone! Mean, leave, yeah, leave yeah. the sheep yeah. alone. He's with us. <laughs> yeah, sir. This is a fine establishment. You cannot bring. House animals. Well, is there like is there a private room that we can pay for? <laughs> oh my uh, god, is this like a fucking Welsh brothel now? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm not one to judge your tastes, gentlemen. But if you want to satisfy your urges, then I guess we could arrange something. I mean, just and they, to like, have a quiet drink without any prying ears is what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's take the sheep up to our room so we yeah, can all no, have a <laughs> uh, He leads you to one of the rooms on the same floor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Just about to freeze up. I know. On the I know. I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad with with Tren not being here. It's not weird or anything. <laughs> uh, you're in a a small but very comfortable oh room. Um, you can see that a lot of expense has been put into furnishing this place. Nice. Uh, um, this is a. Uh, <clears throat> Like a two-person room with two beds. Um, there are probably more 
uh, lavish play, uh, rooms, but this one will suffice for now. Absolutely. Right. All right. All right. Me and the sheep on. are getting the top one. <laughs> you need to. You need to find out how he became a sheep. Yes. Yeah. How? How? How come you're a sheep now, then, Mister Mister Shine Bright? Oh, uh, um, I've been betrayed. I would say. Uh, my um, my apprentice, Noak. <laughs> he calls mas He calls himself Master Noak nowadays. Oh my God, he cannot even comprehend theories such as the multiversal um, magic theory or the super string theory, and he calls himself Master. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm rambling. Uh, anyway, even though I am uh, obviously a powerful wizard. I usually accomplish most mundane tasks, which the, the city uh, requires of me, by use of a magical wand, which allows me to change the shape or form or even species of anything I desire into something else. I usually <laughs> use it to fix roads and turn rubble into buildings, whatnot. But um, I trusted my apprentice with this wand, and, uh, well, he abused his distrust. One day I woke up uh, with him standing over me while I was sleeping, and uh, the next thing I knew I had a really strong feelings toward grass, and uh, I didn't have opposable thumbs. <laughs> he keeps me as a pet. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's uh, sort of... <clears throat> reward for treating him rather poorly over these years. You know, I've had a lot of time to think uh, during the this week of being trapped in this weird form. Maybe I should have been a bit nicer to him. Maybe I should have treated him like a, like a human being and not an elf. You know, when you're an elf wizard, you've got a lot of time to figure things out and he keeps rambling about things that you don't really care about. Uh, his feelings towards his apprentice. It goes on for at least ten minutes. Oh. Okay, well you're boring me now, Shine Bright, but <laughs> we'll <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll sort you out. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, yeah. Thank the heavens! All you need to do is somehow uh, recover the wand from my apprentice, mm -hmm. and uh, well, use it on me. It, it shouldn't be very hard. Uh, Easy. The bare minimum of magical knowledge is, is needed to uh, use such an object. That's fantastic. Uh, that's why he was he was able to to do it so easily on me. Brilliant. We'll stab however, him to death, no problem. We'll we'll massacre however, this guy. However, <laughs> I'll have you know uh, that my former tower has been turned into a fortress by now. He got extremely paranoid after he pulled off the stunt because he's afraid someone else will do it to him. Uh, I know that he hired uh, some guards and uh, even g given them new forms to better suit his needs. Mm. I've seen some uh, apes, some bears roaming around the place. Oh, mm. <clears throat> oh dear. It's the furry episode. <laughs> <laughs> I can, of course, provide you any sort of information you need about my uh, my former house. Is there, uh, is there like a, like a Jim uh, or Daka? If you ask him, is there like a, a secret way in? Yeah, is there a secret way in? <laughs> oh, my, my wizard tower is a wonderful place. I would love to show you around. It's I made three beautiful oaks uh, mature in a, in a few moments and then weave them together into a living tower. I, I, I didn't build it. I made the tree grow in the shape I desired. Wow. There are three uh, platforms, each with their own uh, purpose and, and design. Um, however, I never really needed a secret entrance, you know, with being able to teleport and everything. <laughs> if I wanted to leave my uh, abode and without anyone noticing, I could do it by magic. Can you can you still teleport even though you're a sheep? <laughs> Unfortunately, my magical abilities are locked behind the uh, throat and my uh, useless limbs. I don't have the ability to perform the gestures or incantations required. Sad. Well, like, <clears throat> are we going to know where exactly he'll be in the house? Like, where, where he's most likely to be 
in the house. Well, he's either working on new spells in the workshop, or he's sleeping in his bedroom. Well, my bedroom. Uh, however, he doesn't really sleep anymore. He, <clears throat> he's terrified of someone backstabbing him, just like he did. And do, do you think he'll have, like, the wand on him, or, like... He always he... keeps it uh, on his person. Never okay. leaves it Okay, without so... It. We got two ways of doing this, right? We can either appeal to his good nature and repair mm. whatever has gone down between you guys, <laughs> or we can employ the DACA, okay? <laughs> Where we just go in, balls deep, torture, murder, kill him in a brutal fashion, okay? And either way, you'll, you know, we'll we'll get the result, we'll get the work, we'll get the job done. But kill him. You know, Who are you people? I'm, I'm, just say, I'm just saying him. that's an option, okay? He is and... a wonderful apprentice and a very talented wizard. He doesn't deserve to die. I mean, of course, he may have transgressed against me a little bit, but it's not worth of dying for. I mean, I, I, of course, okay, if, he, so... if he is violent and he, he wants to kill you, I understand if you defend yourself, but... But I don't want you to murder him. We often have what to about... defend ourselves. It's funny. It's funny the way that happens, honestly. <laughs> what, what about what about the guards though? If the guards are attacking us, like we're we gonna have to yeah, we're use gonna have some to... force. Like the guards may look bestial, but you you understand that there are actually humans in changed forms, right? Mm. You, you you wouldn't be uh, killing mindless animals. They they have families and. Hey, so do They're animals actually... too, but we've killed goblins, we've killed wolves, you know, we don't discriminate. <laughs> we'll murder anything, anything with a pulse. <laughs> I, I would strongly suggest um, discussing this with Noak first. I'm sure you'll find uh, some way to communicate uh, it to him that he's not going to... He, he cannot keep up this facade for very long. I mean, he's pretending to look for me, but people will figure it out sooner or later. Mm, That's I fine. We, we, we will happily try diplomacy. Yeah, um, we'll try. We'll try. Just for you, just for you, Mr. Wizardy yeah. Man. We will uh, We will try diplomacy. As, you, uh, as you're <clears throat> discussing this with the sheep, uh, you can hear a commotion rising in the main room. And uh, some doors are being slammed, some chairs are being moved around. There are some shouts and maybe a howl or two. Sounds like a wolf, maybe. Boy, howdy. Go, on, go and have a look, shall we? Oh, is that a wolf coming for the sheep? <laughs> Sent by Mr. Change Things into different things? Mm. Could Are be. You, you're going back to the main room? We've got uh, a lot of yeah. weapons on us, haven't we? I think we should all be ready to fight. Someone needs to protect the sheep. Duck, duck, My duck, body duck. is a weapon, Jim. <laughs> Some, someone needs to protect that sheep. I can the sheep leave. stays behind, uh, not wanting to participate in whatever it is. Okay. I can leave my cock with him. How's that sound? <laughs> no, you, you need. You, you, you're gonna need your cock with you potentially. <laughs> uh, you enter the you main room. You can say that there again, are... Jimmy. <laughs> there are uh, some newcomers inside, visibly terrorizing the people, the pa the patrons, and uh, the servants have been intimidating into staying in the corner and not interfering. And there's a large half-orc uh, visibly leading the party. There's a large hooded per uh, person behind him. You, you cannot really see what it is, but it's a, a giant of a man. Uh, like, at least two heads taller than Cad. And... Uh, very burly, like, imagine Singolo. <laughs> uh, He's stealing my dice! <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, the half-orc has three chained wolves uh, held in his right arm. Oh and you can God. see he's armed with a, with a giant greatsword uh, draped over his shoulders. Do I, do I know him? And he's looking around. No, you, you've never seen him yet. What, what the fuck do you think? Do you all half orcs know each other? I mean, well, I've been in a lot of wars, so if this guy is like a big fighty guy, like there's there's a chance that maybe we've been in war together. I don't know. 
Uh, and you're trying to remember if you've ever seen uh, this, this half orc during the wars. The the guy turns around and says, "Master Noak wants his sheep back. Do you know where it is?" Looking at you. Sheep? Uh, what sheep? No, you, I don't know what you're about. We know me. it's in this building, and we're not leaving until we, we get it back. And he unsheaths his greatsword, holding it effortlessly with one hand. All right, okay. Easy, Tiger. All right. Let's just calm down a little bit here. Don't want you to do anything you're going to regret. Okay? <laughs> the sheep... The sheep is under our protection. Your protection? And who are you? Who are you to interfere with Master Noak's plans? Okay. We're just trying to get to the bottom of something here, and we have an interest in making sure that Mr. Sheep stays safe, okay? So, well, I think we should need to talk to this Master Noakes to see if we can come to some form of compromise. Well, Master Noak told me to get his sheep back, and that is what I intend, in, intend to do. I appreciate that, right? I hope we but can I want come to talk to, to the organ grinder, when... not the monkey, okay? <laughs> All right? So, I Who think are you uh... calling a monkey, little man? <laughs> well, you know, let's just um let, let's just have a chat with Noakes before, you know, we turn this bar into a war zone, eh? Yeah, how about how about we bring the sheep with us and we accompany you to see Master Nook? Why do you need to see him? I can just take the sheep from you. Well, and bring you can it back try. To him without you interfering. We can take your head to Master Nok. How does that you sound? Can, you think you can take my head, you little whelp? <laughs> yep! <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, Judge, Judge Decker. Um, I don't know. Let's roll I don't know. initiative. He's a bit of a badass, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, Roll it's, initiative. It's, oh man, it's oh, going down, boys. Oh it's man. Going oh, my god. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 17 for me. Oh my uh, god. But I've got pluses. I've got pluses. Wait till you hear my pluses. Yeah, I haven't got any pluses. Uh, no. Hmm. Where is it? I, I, This is weird. This is different from the one that I've got on. Oh, uh, I rolled a four. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Where's initiative on the sheet? Um, it, it's it's like I don't think it's initiative three. There you go. So that's not that high, is it? I thought it was higher than that. I'm I'm a plus two initiative. So what's so, your yeah, total? Twenty one for oh. me. Fine. Um, well, I roll the natural twenty for one of the the enemies. Um, so that so the giant hooded figure takes off his hood and you can see that it's not actually a human but a bear standing on two feet on his hind uh, quarters which uh, charges past uh, the, the half-orc threatening you bear. and jumps at Kaz uh, trying to knock him down and maul him to death uh, You've seen that John West advert in you where the fisherman <laughs> fights the bear kick him straight in the bollocks seriously <laughs> As he's Let's coming see. in, whack. Let's see it. Uh, what's your armor class? <laughs> uh, my armor class is 13. 13. Mm. Okay, so he he knocks you down with the force of his charge and takes a little bite out of your left arm. Uh, you oh. take <laughs> uh, six points of damage. Oof. Oof. These boys ain't messing around. Oof. Yeah. I'm I'm being moved by a bear, boys. <laughs> <laughs> You're moved. You're moved, Jim. Oh shit. Um. Well, this is a good question, isn't it? I've got a sword, but I've also got a bow. I, is it is it like too short range to use my bow, or or not? Uh, the bear is right here, but he just took a chunk of flesh out of Kaz's left arm. Can you like no scope with a bow? Can you? Is that a possibility or not? <laughs> Well, you can you can definitely try to shoot him, but he's okay, fighting yeah. Kaz, and you might shoot Kaz instead. Yeah, because you, you, you I mean I've seen it in the movies. But you can definitely try to shoot. You can definitely try to shoot any of the other opponents. 
Oh, Summon your bear, you him. risk shooting Kaz instead. I could, I could do a forward roll, couldn't I? That's interesting. Summon your cock, man. <laughs> Alright, dacker, dacker, dacker. The cock is out. Sick him on the bear. And then I'll shoot this fucking half orc in the fucking eye. Uh, Alright then, roll for your cock then. <laughs> right. The cock has got two attacks. He's pa yep. The cock is powerful, you know. Right, peck at the eyes. Than you, mate. Uh, is it as powerful as a bear, though? I mean, maybe. We'll he's gonna see. He's gonna peck at the eyes of unbelievers and roll a 23. <clears throat> which is yep, pretty good. Yeah, definitely hits. Yep. That's d6 <clears throat> plus 2. Which is 7. Okay. Nice. And then he'll go again with the other one, whatever that is. Uh, rend the flesh of the unclean. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a 17 altogether. Yeah, definitely hits too. Glorious, and that does 3 damage. Okay, uh, the bear is visibly wounded and staggers back from the invisible assailant. <laughs> Glorious, uh, the cock's just fucking him up. <laughs> your move, Jim. Right, okay, so hang on. We've got the half orc and what? Another oh, can guy? I shoot my bow as well? Can I shoot my bow at the. Uh... Oh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't do your move, it's just your cock. Yeah, 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 yeah. you still have your actions. Um, yeah. There's uh, a bear, the half orc, and three wolves. Yeah, shoot, the, back oh, shoot the orc. Like shoot the orc. 21 I rolled. You definitely hit him. Glorious. What is it? Uh, D8 plus 3. Okay. Okay. Uh, 7. 7. Okay. Uh, you shoot him uh, in the shoulder, uh, he winces in pain, and then charges back at you. Oh, fuck. Uh, dim, you move. I want to hit the orc with my buckler, the stunning shield. Yes! Um, so, as he comes running towards Jim, I pull out my you shield have... and go uh, to strike you cannot, him. You, you cannot reach him, the chair, the, the table is in your way. Like. Okay. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is a forward you have to go roll. <laughs> no, Dim Rat! I'm going to do. A, no. Can I do a forward roll across the table? <laughs> yes, you can do no. that. You make an acrobatics check. For no, you no, go. you're not there allowed. The rules don't allow you. <laughs> Doing it. So, hang on. There was. I, I get a negative for acrobatics. I'm pretty sure because I'm in high heavy plate up. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, all right, here we go. Oh god, Timmy! <laughs> Sounds great to me. I roll a ten. <laughs> I roll a ten. Okay. Uh, you roll over the table, knocking things around, uh, but you accomplish whatever this was meant to be. What a hero! And you're on the other side of the table after I, this maneuver. So am I in range to hit the orc, or do I just have to hit the bear? I think the bear is closer, right? The bear is just on the other side. Uh, of the, the bear is in your range. Bear's, you get hanging off my arm. Yeah, you I think the bear is a bit no, of trouble. It, it let go. It let go. It just bit oh, okay. a piece out of it. Okay. So, uh, and then got attacked by the cock, which which staggered him backwards a little bit. Okay. Right, so fine can, can I hit the orc with the shield? No, he's. Uh, you would need to take like two steps forward to hit the yeah. orc. Uh, can the I hit bear the bear? Is in your range. I hit the bear. I hit the bear with the shield. Yeah. Fair enough. Roll for attack. Uh. So. 18. Uh, oh, I don't. Nice. I don't think I get any pluses Easily. for the shield. You, yeah. you don't even need any pluses. Okay. You, you slam the bear in its snout uh, or muzzle uh, with your shield. Uh, how much damage do you do? Uh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just stuns them. It just stuns no, them. It uh, the bear, yeah, the it bear renders. slumps to the floor, uh, completely paralyzed and moving. Uh, your attack yeah. is very successful. Glorious. Yeah, it doesn't do any. It doesn't do any damage. It just... After you do this, um, the half orc recovers uh, after being uh, attacked. The bear is uh, down here. The half orc walks forward, or even takes two quick steps towards Dimraf and uh, tries to take off your head with his greatsword. Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, what's your armor class? Uh, it's heavy. It's uh, 16. So, um, yeah. Oh no, it's medium armor, it says on here. But mm. I'm pretty sure it's plate armor. <laughs> mm. Mm. It says 16, uh, anyway. The You rely on your armor to deflect the blow, but Gus, I mean, the, the half orc, uh, finds the gap between the plate and slashes you across your calf. 
Oh. Uh, and you take... Too many six. Uh, you take six points of damage. Okay. That's a strong one. <laughs> uh, your move, Kaz. The wolves were really slow to react for some reason. Okay, so... Uh, the bear's just in front of me, prone and paralyzed, yeah? Yes, yes. Um, and, and the orc is a bit too far away from me at the moment. Yeah, he just hamstrung Dimmy and is uh, trying to hit him again. Okay, I think uh, I'm going to ignore the bear as much as I want to drop the people's elbow on that bear's head. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to ignore the bear right now because, uh, you know, one of my uh, fellow uh, dojo students is, are in trouble. So... <laughs> I'm gonna leap over the bear and fly and sidekick the half orc in the face. Uh, make an acrobatics check, and if you succeed, you're gonna get a bonus to the attack. Cool. Acrobatics check is 14. Splendid. Um, you leap over the bear, uh, graceful, and slam uh, the orc uh, in the face with your with your foot. Um, what did you What did you roll on the attack? Uh, is that d20? Yeah. Yes. I'll just roll that now. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Free. Oh, God. <laughs> You've got pluses, though. You've got loads of pluses to add. To the, the orc, the, the half orc is busy uh, attacking Dim, and he doesn't see you coming. He didn't expect a maneuver like this. Your foot slams him in the face, and uh, he, he spits out a tooth. Uh, how much damage do you do with your unarmed attack? Uh, hang on. Let me just find out. Uns. <laughs> Lord, unarmed, uh, the unarmed strike deals uh, one d six of damage or one d eight when I have both hands free. So one d six damage. Oh, what's in your other hand? What was in your hands? Um, well, nothing Penis. actually. I kicked, I sort of kicked him. So, I guess, I guess yes, I. So uh, d eight. There's going to be a d eight plus. Yeah. So it's a d eight. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll just roll That's it. D eight, d eight plus d six, isn't it? He said. Uh, one no one d eight when I have both hands free. So oh, right, essentially, okay. I'm attacking him with. All my four, so um, a six. Eight. I rolled on a d8. Oh, perfect! Uh, you you slam the orc in his face with your mighty kick, and he staggered backward, uh, letting uh, Dimmy have a little breather. Thank uh, you. The, the sheer force of your attack knocks him backwards a few feet, and um, however. You're uh, in this position. You're a prime target for the wolves who start who attack you in unison. What's your three? Is there three of them? Yeah, there's, there's three of them. You jumped over the bear to to hit the orc. Uh, armor like... class is thirteen. Okay. Ooh. medium armor. You uh, deftly avoid two of the bites aimed at your ankles. But the third wolf, you just cannot dodge. It uh, it bites your leg, and tries to pull you to the ground. You you resist, but you you take a little bit of damage. You take oh Jesus! You take seven points of damage. Oh my God, that's thirteen total. I'm I'm sort of more than halfway towards crit crit criticality or criticality. Uh, oh, okay, red. Okay, next turn. Uh, your move, uh, Jim, Jim, because the bear is stunned. Right. Can I talk to the wolves? Do you think? Do you think that's possible to talk to the wolves? Your your speak to animals spell still works, so you could definitely communicate with them. Yeah, I'd be like, look, wolves. <laughs> no, We've got wolves. Look at looks at you and says, "Fuck off, mate. We're just doing our job." Yeah. You're not my mate, mate. Look, we'll 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 be better bosses. This guy's going to be dead soon, and then we can look after you or kill you. It's your choice. Uh, the wolf growls, and it's not like a meaningful growl. Uh, it's just bestial uh, rage building up in the wolf, being was you're attacking uh, his boss, basically. Right. Well, unfortunately, mate, you're going to fucking die then, aren't you? I wrote the chops of that little fucking wolf, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Roll for attack. Uh, oh god, only a thirteen. Uh, plus, or is it, that's with is the plus? Thirteen total. Thirteen total. Um, nope. You hit him just Yay. enough. Way. <laughs> and 
to seven. Uh, you shoot the wolf in the head. Um, I guess intimidating you didn't work out so well for him because he <laughs> dies instantly. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're, you're both piercing his brain. Nice. Um, he falls down in a puddle of blood. Glorious. Uh, can I set my cock away from the bear, or will he continue to just maul this bear now, do you think, automatically? Uh, I think the, the cock smells easy prey, and he's yeah. definitely just going to try to tear out the bear's throat. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, that's, I yeah. think that's reasonable. <laughs> he's, got, he's got angry, he's going to carry on. It's too late on. now. Too late. Yeah. You had some a degree of control over him, but now it's just the red mist has descended. It's yeah, over. I know. I know how that feels. <laughs> Um, uh, can you roll for the cock? Yep, 16 on the peck the eyes. Yep. Hit. That's a hit, and that does... Just roll for both, and then I'll tell you which oh, one hit. That does 8, oh my god. And then the other one rolls a 16, which surely uh, hits as well from the 3, so there you go. The bear is dead, and since it's your cock, I'll let you describe how it happened. Oh, he just he just rips his throat out, just it burrows into his throat, pecking and clawing, and just annihilates this bear's throat. Wonderful. There you go, dick uh, down the, the bear throat. Is dead. No, sorry, cock down the throat. Sorry, <laughs> I, just, I don't know why I was thinking of dicks. That was nothing to do with dicks, is it? It's a cock. I mean, <laughs> um, the half orc recovered after your staggering assault and is trying to hack you down uh, with his greatsword. <clears throat> Who, Kaz or me? Kaz, uh, Kaz. Okay. Um, I rolled a 19. Whoo, oh. fuck! <laughs> you oh. did! Oh, Kaz is nearly dead as well, isn't he? Mm. Oh my god. Is there any, like, bonus uh, actions or anything? You take 5 points of damage. <laughs> he yeah, slashes I'm, I'm... you across the chest. You, you try to dodge, but, but he's too good. He predicts your, uh, the dodge you wanted to make, and the blade ends up pretty uh, in a shallow way but uh, enough to make it hurt um i'm getting battered here yeah i'm, I'm gonna sort you out don't worry i'm, I'm down to six hit points <laughs> <laughs> suddenly you can see dim raf you can see that the the half orc's ma uh, sword flashes blue and uh it moves as if on its own like not controlled by the orc and flashes at you oh, God. Uh, but it it gets lodged into the uh, table uh, instead of you because you're easily uh, able to avoid this sudden attack. Mm. Magic so, shenanigans. It's this half orc actually. Yeah, I guess this half orc is just a half orc, right? Yeah, you move, the, Kaz. the bear is a human. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, the, the, way, the wolf the was way. definitely a human because Jim was able to communicate with it. You don't know about the bear because you. Just oh, the wolf it. is a human. Yeah, wow. it's just like fuck off, mate. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> it wasn't actually a wolf, yeah. Okay, that's what so he said. The two... guards, he's turned the guards into things, didn't he? And obviously, what? Yeah, but the half orc isn't wolf. something that's been transformed, no, is it's it? Just, he's, I mean, he's, would he's, you turn him into something wolf. if he was already a fucking half orc? Possibly. I guess. He's Goliath. Look at him. He's Goliath. From... From what you can tell, it's just a half orc with a magical sword. Mm. Being controlled by Nook, I reckon, or Master Nook. Or just oh. paid, you know? Kaz, mm -hmm. uh, what okay. you Okay, um, well, there's still two wolves in there, so. Yep. Um, I'm one, gonna. One of them is dead. Uh, sorry, three wolves total, not. not one two. of them is dead. No. Yeah, Jim okay. shot one in the head. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Um, I'm going to use my, uh, at the start of my turn, uh, da, 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 action surge. So, I can take one additional action on my turn on top of my normally allowed actions. So, I'm going to... Run away? To, I'm going to, no, I'm going to boot the shit out of one of these wolves. Yep. Oh, God. Roll um, for attack. You have to beat okay. 13. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did. Two. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, um, I guess that's a swing and a miss. <laughs> you have a plus, though, don't you? You must have a plus. Uh, yeah, it's but... Blow. It has to be 13, yeah. It's not mm. going to have a plus. 13, yeah, 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 yeah. Just it... the glancing blow. You, you hit the wolf, but it doesn't do any damage. Okay, and um, so for my second action, 
I'm probably going to take some refuge. I'm going to retreat a little bit and take some refuge behind uh, Judge Daka. <laughs> All right, okay, uh, you need to do an acrobatics check to escape uh, okay, peril, basically. Me. Six. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. You, you try to jump away doing a backflip. <laughs> when one of the wolves catches your ankle and pulls you back to the ground. Uh, <sighs> You, you you are prone um, at the oh, mercy. Tell me I crash through a table, mm-hmm. like in the best Western style, you mm-hmm. know. Like, you know. <laughs> Crashing through tables will come. Okay. And well, now you're on the floor, and there's a, an angry dog biting at your ankle. Oh, dear. Uh, anyway, uh, the other wolf uh, sees you on the floor and goes for the throat, trying to finish you off. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I could be in trouble. <laughs> you may, you if only well I be. had a wand of smiles to cheer these wolves up. <laughs> uh, you take two points of damage. It, oh my uh, god, uh, okay, I'm still alive. <laughs> oh my god. It misses your throat instead biting at your shoulder. It hurts, but at least you're not dead. Yeah, I'm I'm not far from dead, to be fair. No, but... it's, you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I wanna... Yeah, I wanna... Cure wounds, or what's that? Other Jim, one? your move. That's oh, Jim. It's my move. Yeah, you missed me. Yeah, you, 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 were, you were the fastest. Ah. And, and, and you turn. I'm shouting at Daka. Oh, yeah. Take these wolves out, Daka. Take these wolves out. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to shoot. I'm just going to shoot at the dogs. All right. The one dags. of them is holding. Uh, one of them is holding Kaz on the ground by his ankle. Yeah, I guess And the other is one. trying to bite at his face. Which one are you shooting? Oh my god. The, fa- the face one, I've got to save his life. Fair enough. Roll for attack. I won't roll a natural one. I won't. I won't. There's a one in 400 chance. Don't worry, Kaz. <laughs> um, okay, 19 modified. Perfect. Um, how much damage do you do? With your uh, thing? Eight. As the wolf is trying to uh, bite and claw Kaz's face off, uh, you take a moment to uh, to aim at his head, and another one wolf bites the dust with a bolt between its eyes. Nice. With a human-like surprise, <laughs> surprised uh, face <laughs> on his snout. Yeah, I don't know. Another wolf be... is dead. Good. Nah. Fuck him. They, you know, I tried to reason with him, Dimra. I tried to reason with him. Me, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'll just heal Kaz. Well, I've got like uh, I've got my prayer of healing, which... Are you are you low, are you, Jim? Or are you okay? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, the okay. prayer of uh, healing takes 10 minutes to cast. Okay, no, I'll just use cure wounds then. So, one living creature heals 1d8 plus 1d8. Okay. Uh, so... d8... Eight and four, so twelve. Twelve hit points for Kaz. All right. Uh, you feel tingling warmth when Dimmy oh. puts <laughs> hands on you, and suddenly <laughs> you're torn, uh, torn calf and slashed chest, and uh, I, I do your this. Muscle grows back. I do this by cupping his groin, <laughs> <laughs> and I let the energy flow through my hands. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi! I I warm his balls. (laughs) And the healing glow just takes hold of him. (laughs) Thank thank you. Well, you're not dying anymore, so that's the least you can say. Cough! Cough! It was great, wasn't it? In in Cobra Kai when when, when Daniel goes like that and goes, Medic! (laughs) 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 Fantastic. Uh, You're still on the floor, however, which makes you a really easy target for the half orc's greatsword. Uh-oh. And uh, he tries to impale, impale you to the ground. Oh, fuck me. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> However, he you is. roll out uh, under his attack, and he just uh, stabs the ground. Uh, beautiful hardwood floor. Um, uh, and he's having trouble pulling the sword out. I think he, uh, he hit it too hard. So you've got a moment of opportunity when he cannot really deflect your attacks. Uh, what do you do, Kaz? 
I'm going to punch this twat straight in the face. <laughs> All right. I'm going to I'm going to You've got get up. because he uh, got his sword stuck, you've got advantage for this attack. So you roll twice and pick the higher uh, okay. result. It's it's going to be a superman punch straight in his face. <laughs> okay, my first roll is a 2, which isn't okay. so great. Uh, my Just second one. roll Oh, fuck's sake. What's wrong with my fucking dice? It's like I'm playing fucking Blood Bowl again. Uh, a, What's five, one? a five. Which isn't real. Imagine rolling um, a five with two chances. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dim Ref just matters under to, his breath. Should have let you die. punch him using his uh, moment uh, when he's distracted, but uh, your fists don't really do the thing you remember them doing anymore. Hello, you, fists. It's the glancing blow that uh, weak, weakly slides off his leather armor. Clearly that dodgy kebab, um, you know, affected me more than I realized. So, uh, yeah, I'm not my best combat ever. No. Do you, do you have it? Well, two questions. Do you have an inspiration point, Calcium? And secondly, if you use an inspiration point on a on an attack with advantage, do you get to reroll both of them? No, you just get to reroll once. Ah, so it's not it's not a great use of it. Anyway, uh, I really. don't have any inspiration. I mean, like points uh, we're gonna kick this guy's ass, aren't we? Oh, no, yeah, I was just, I was just uh, asking. Uh, I wasn't like you uh, know it's too late. Uh, anyway, I was just asking out of interest. Are the wolves yeah. dead? Are all the wolves dead? Or no, just two one of them? of them is still alive and it's going alive. for you, then. Okay. Uh, it, it tries to charge past your invisible cock, and it doesn't know it's there, so it provokes an attack of opportunity. You can roll one attack for your cock. Oh, Baby. oh Kill, it with, Kill it with four. Oh, 20, modified 20. Oh, beautiful. So uh, your cock uh, <laughs> smells easy prey and uh, latches to the wolf. <laughs> eh, damage! And eh, damage, I rolled a six! Uh, and kills him instantly. Uh, <laughs> as it falls over, your cock dives in deeper and pulls out an intestine or two. <laughs> oh god, sounds a great night. <laughs> um, uh, oh, that's minging. You removed him. <laughs> there's just the, there's just the <laughs> left. <laughs> it's totally minging. Sorry, Jim. You just made me feel a bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's just the half half left, right? Yeah, with his sword lodged into the floor, he's trying to pull it out, and he's uh, starting to realize that this is a losing battle. Mm. Um, you may have who's go like is a it? few seconds left before he runs away. Whose go is it? Uh, Jim. Okay, I'm gonna pull. My, I'm gonna draw my bow, right, ready to shoot him. And I'll say, um, this is your last chance. We'll let you live if you can give us information about this fucking dude. Nook. Cocksucker. Nook. Nook. Uh, the the half-orc releases his sword, puts his hands up, and says, whatever you want. Okay. Good. Well, tell us, tell us everything you know about this, you know, how he's fortified his base and stuff and the guards and everything. Uh, the commotion around you is starting to die down. The patrons are returning to their seats. And uh, the, the owner of the tavern approaches you and says, Well, who's going to clean that mess? <laughs> uh, Master, <Looking> no. Nope. <laughs> he, you know, he'll, he'll take care of all of the costs, don't worry. <laughs> uh, she... She lets out a resigned sigh and uh, goes back to the bar. Uh, you can see the servants are uh, slowly approaching the corpses, uh, trying to drag them away somewhere, probably <laughs> to clean them up and uh, clean the blood. Um, are you going to talk with this half-orc out in the public? Yeah. Firstly, no, no, this half -orc... no, no. Drag him, drag him in front of the wizard. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Drag him, like, and then... Yeah. Dimrath, get your dagger out and put it to his throat, and then I will. <laughs> and then we'll take him to the sheep. <laughs> I'll take I'll take my dagger out. When I'll... you're pulling out his dagger, the the orc recoils a little bit and says, "I will cooperate. You don't have to threaten me anymore. Okay, I've learned my lesson." Yeah, but you're a big fucker. <laughs> we ain't taking any chances. <laughs> Just 
just come this way. Come this way into this room, and uh, and we need to have a chat. We need to have a chat. So we'll this usher. Got a real we'll usher. usher vibe to it now. Oh, isn't we, it? We're going to usher into this random random room. No, 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 no. We're going into the room yeah, with the, the wizard. The sheep. The sheep. Yeah, the sheep, the sheep wizard. wizard room. Yeah. We're just you going because. Move... Yeah, like, because the wizard will be able to tell if he's lying to us, surely. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty smart. As much as any sheep could, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, cause, yeah, he doesn't have any powers, does he? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, but he, he can understand it, because, no, he could, he could understand me, so I could translate, so it's okay. Waterboard him. <laughs> we don't need to, though, he's terrified already. We don't need to waterboard him. You can for fun. <laughs> we could we for could, fun, we, yeah. We could, we could, Jim. We could. <laughs> You're in the room, uh, which was assigned to you. The sheep is still there, and when the when you enter with the half orc, the the sheep uh, excitedly explains, "Guys, oh, he probably came to rescue me from you." And uh, you can feel air quotes around the word "rescue" as the sheep the the elf turned into a sheep says. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he came here to well, not to kill you, but he came here to take you to. Noke. Oh, of course not. Noke w wouldn't do anything to hurt me. He wants me um, humiliated, but not dead. Hmm. Well. So, we so we've just had a brutal bar fight, right? When all of this could have been avoided. Why didn't we just... We actually offered um, this half orc. We offered to take you to Noke's. Yeah. Um, but you know, we, we, we figured that you needed protection. And... Now you're saying you don't. Um, mm. There's things here that don't add up. Yeah, so like, let's say uh, hi, uh, let's say the R folk. What's what's his name? Look, he wouldn't hurt me, but he would still keep me in this form and continue to humiliate me. I mm. I don't want to go back there. Okay. I would do almost anything not to go back there. He kept no. me on a chain for God's sake. Okay. Well, you got to save yourself, half orc bastard. <laughs> What do you want to know? Well, would would we would you like were you going to kill him or were you just going to take him back so that Noak had him? No, Ma Master Noak wants to keep him in his garden so he can look at him and laugh at him every day, mm. reduced to this bestial form. How many? How many? Um, how many? How many? How many staff members does Noak have? Yeah. Well, at least four or less now. <laughs> yes, we we know that. We know that smart ass. <laughs> How many men does he smart, have? Don't be smart, mate. All right, don't be smart. <laughs> How many men he looks slash down at the monsters floor and does says, he have? Uh, There's four more at the compound. Um, four guards turned into great gorillas. Uh, mm. There's one bear, and uh, well, of course, Master Noak is a powerful wizard. With access to a minor artifact, you you don't stand a chance, even though you beat me. Mm. Yeah, he does have that one, doesn't he? And there's nothing we've got against it, I guess. We could take this fucking. We could take this fucker as a hostage. It's like you know. We something. we gotta we gotta be smart here, and we we gotta um, basically ninja our way in and try to get this one. You want to ninja in? Yeah, I think uh, you know. Obviously, Dimmy's renowned for his ninja acrobatic skills. We so, need, uh, yeah, we need to do what what, what Master Knight did to the dude, didn't he it? He did we roll to... over a table. With some yeah. agility. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. That was uh, epic. So and I saved your life, Kaz. Just... Yes, you did. Thank you very what much. What yeah. what what what's your name, Half Orc? My name is Guz. Guz, you're not much used to me alive, are you, Guz? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, your hostage idea, I, I like that. <laughs> Why do you like that? Because that means you live. Because it keeps me alive, yes. Yeah. But also, I'm not, you know, just some grunt to Master No. He trusts me. He um, confines in me since he cannot really talk to any other staff members. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't call him my friend, but... There is a mutual respect and understanding between us. Maybe we could strike up a deal. Yeah. I mean, you're obviously capable adventurers. 
maybe you'll live, maybe you'll kill Noak, maybe he'll kill you, maybe this can be avoided with just a conversation. Mm. What do you think, guys? I think uh, it's worth. I think it's worth a try. I think yeah, Marcus. We need to try to Marcus, negotiate our way out of this. Marcus said like no dead bodies, didn't he? And we've already got four. No, Marcus said that uh, you shouldn't be disrespectful or try to kill the wizard. He didn't mention anyone else. Yeah. We oh. could skin the half orc and wear his skin to get in. <laughs> <laughs> the half orc uh, looks very scared when you say those words. <clears throat> I mean, I'm already half orc. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't <laughs> doesn't take that much to make me look like him. Hello, uh, Chloe. <laughs> I mean, this half orcs don't really look all the same. And this one has uh, visible scars, which would make you look rather different than him. What on his left eye? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it looks like someone tried to cop him uh, sometime in the past, but didn't quite make it through. He's got a big ginger beard as well, big beard, doesn't he? Skinhead. Are as we well, like? Sure. Are we? Yes. Are we gonna sleep on this, or are we gonna just? We could crack sleep on it, couldn't we? We could sleep on it. I think. I think like because I've used a couple of spells as well, so. Yeah, like... and we've, we, we, you know, it's night time. Looking at this, so I guess we should. We've got a room. I guess we could sleep. There's a lot of us in we, here, though. Yeah, we tie up the. Uh, you, you, you each have got uh, your own room. This is just like they gave this oh, you this okay. makeshift room for you to. Uh, do whatever you wanted to do with the sheep. <laughs> Are we paying by the hour for this room? <laughs> yeah. It's not that kind of establishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to excuse you, gentlemen, for a minute. I need to go to the toilet. Okay, okay. Alright, so what's the plan, boys? Um, we plan? make him lead us in secretly, then we slit his throat. I mean, that's that's exactly what I was thinking, Lord, already. Yeah, you know, we, we kill this fucker, but we use... Well, you're right. We should we should whisper this so he doesn't hear. <laughs> We're whispering this to the hearts of the Mate, heart. Ain't hearing anything out of that headset. I'm telling you. So yeah, so you know, we we we'll all whisper. We we'll all whisper in the corner and just have just have the sheep barring in his face so he can't hear. <laughs> What does the wizard? Yeah, like, what's the wizard want us to do? Yeah, well, we can answer that, can we? We could ask the wizard. We can ask the wizard yeah. what he wants us to do. When he comes back, I think I think we just ask the wizard what he wants us to do. Hmm. But I mean, he's and not a we'll... great judge of character, is he? Because he's just got his fucking apprentice fucking. Well, he, no, no, no. He might, he might, he might be all right. Do you know what I mean? He might, he might be all right. He, like, he obviously didn't kill. His he master, the dude. No, he didn't kill him. And he's not like he's kept him as a pet. Obviously, he's scared because he turned the place into a fortress. Mm -hmm. But like, he's not. Uh, what you call it? He's not killed him. Which he's not you, as like, bad as us. <laughs> yeah, which yeah, we're just cold bloody killers, aren't we? Mm. At the moment, like, and we're not really like. I mean, what I we could do is we could get the wand off the apprentice and then kill him. Cobra is not about that life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta kill people. It's the Wild West, isn't it? Come on, you know this is like there's no. I'm 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 still trying to get over the fact that I was about as you as much use as a fart in an astronaut suit during that combat. Yeah, you just so, got to like... made a kick. The kick to the orc was legit. That was decent. yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. You staggered him and stuff and whatever. But like I I've got like a couple of like H points missing. Kaz has obviously got HP missing. I don't know about you, Jim. You can but... cure us all now, can't you? Like I I lost like three or something before, but you can you yeah, can. No, but yeah, but if we rest, we cure anyway, and yeah. it means I get more spells. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Tail, I was gonna ask. Uh, yeah. Can we ask the wizard what he wants us to do? Mm. Like what's what well, would he? Jim can with? still speak with animals for a couple more minutes, so you can definitely try. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. I'll we'll say, like, we, we've got a few options, like ninjuring in or using this Gus as a hostage or whatever. Uh, what what do you think? What, like, how, how hard should we go? What do you th what approach do you think we should take? Gus is a, a very respected house servant, both for me and for, for my uh, apprentice. And uh, I doubt that he would like Gus to be hurt in any way. So you could probably leverage that, but he's not going to give up the wand for Gus. Like, mm -hmm. He values it more than anything in this world, probably. 
Yeah. So we're gonna have uh, to take you by force. Because it gave them a feeling of power over okay. other things and people. We're gonna have to kill him. Uh, stealing no the wand is definitely a possibility if you can avoid the guards and the. Uh, there shouldn't be any magical traps. Like I, this is a peaceful area. <laughs> Nobody tried to steal from me or attack me. I didn't put any wards or traps anywhere. Um, right. So if you get past the apes and the bear. And uh, Noak, of course, you could definitely uh, steal the wand, or you could just try to talk to him, but he's not going to give it up. You could, however, try to trick him. Um, mm. He is an ambitious wizard, and I, I realize that now, that I uh, kept his talent hindered and, and hampered for too long. Uh, he needs some stimulation. If you promise him greater power, or... Uh, powerful magical item or some way to to increase his status okay. you might be able to you might be able to lure him away from the tower somehow mm. Mm. i've got a wand he might be interested in <laughs> i've got a cloak he might be interested in <laughs> you can get all the goals with this cloak of billowing <laughs> I mean, it does look really cool. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Um, it's like it's like Jim's version of smoldering intensity. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rocket <laughs> in that Jumanji. <laughs> God, that would be incredible. That would be incredible. Um, <laughs> see, sucks. Yeah. Volt Force has gone on hunger strike apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be right for a couple of weeks then. <laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> Not for you, more like. <laughs> we, is it is it okay to rest? Like, is it okay to sleep on this? Yeah, you've just got, so... Each of you has got a, a, their own room. However, you're just going to let the, the orc go? No, no, no. No, no, no. no. We're going to tie him up. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... I'm going to tie him up. Tie him up. <laughs> tie him up and have the sheep and the cock watch him. Well, I've, uh, yeah, I've got rope, so... I've yep. got manacles. Um, I've got manacles as well. Let's let's not take any chances. It's like a double bagger, isn't it? <laughs> that is definitely a better idea than tying up a, a really big half-orc. Mm. <laughs> manacles. I never said I was good at ideas, all right? <laughs> I've got some manacles in the back. Just kidding, but not really. <laughs> Yeah, I've got manacles. No, it's fine. It's so good. you you uh, manacle the the half orc, and wh whose room does the sheep stay in, and whose room does the half orc stay in? I'll take the sheep. <laughs> Straight in there, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> not in that way. Not in that way. You know, just you do have the cock who can watch him while he sleep. Yeah, so I guess. Yeah, it's natural for. I, I should. I should take the half orc and then have the cock watching. Yeah, yeah, okay, you do that, I'll take the sheep and then Fair enough. Kaz can do it. Kaz can have a lonely night. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try and um uh actually I've got some self healing shit I think. No no if you sleep you if it's Resting. a long rest. Yeah long yeah, rest. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Long yeah okay. This because this gives me my spells back because the problem is is the cure wounds and that like I can only cast it so many times so yeah, uh, you go to sleep, you sleep for eight hours, which uh, uh, restores your spellcasting abilities and your regains points, yeah. all the lost hit points you've had. Yeah, yeah. Also, and I don't even need to sleep, I just meditate for four hours, and yes. that's like a full night's sleep, so I'm even hours. more the person to what, to keep the half or the wraps. Absolutely, yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. good good work, Dekka. Thanks. Uh, when you, when you, you, you want me to call you Judge or Dekka? Dacker in it, they just call him Dread. Call me Master. <laughs> just call him Dread, so I guess Dacker, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you emerge from your trance, you can see the orc is still asleep. Uh, it's early morning. It's going to be a hot day. There's not a sign of a cloud in the sky. Uh, the sun is shining. It's, it's getting really warm outside. Uh, the others are probably still asleep because, you know, they're not elves. Mm hmm. I've had, a, I've had a think here, right? How about we combine the uh, the strategies, right? We have two people try to ninja in, and we have one person acting as a decoy if they have to. Uh, 
I I like it. What do you think, Kaz? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Hmm. Mm. So two people ninjaing or one person ninjaing? Uh, I mean, he's a like surely, lion. surely, like the wizard will know that we're coming because he's a wizard, right? Yeah, and, and also these guys haven't been back, so. I mean, he's a wizard, but he's not omniscient. Yeah, but his lads haven't come back. He sent his lads to get the sheep, and they haven't come back. That is true. He is going to be on alert. <clears throat> so, how about this? Right, yeah, the last cast. time. But you don't that... you don't really know because he might he might have sent them and expected them to take a couple of days to finish the task yeah, because true. it's a it's a sheep lost in a giant it's like a three hundred thousand city. Fair enough. Yeah, Kaz. Hey, but it's a sheep. It's not a person. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all look the same, though, don't they? The sheep. I mean, I mean, if it's whales, then yeah. <laughs> you Unless know, you like, send well, Artemis yeah. in, you're not going to get a lot of success. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't mind Kaz ninjaing in, yeah. and then me. And I, I, I think just one person ninjaing in because then you can explain it off because he's going to know how many people are in our party. But then you can say, well, look, one one of the people, one of our party was injured. He's resting up, you know, mm -hmm. um, injured during the bar fight that you've clearly heard about. Um, so he's just resting up, and we could explain the missing member off that way. Yeah. Uh, what's your like? Have you got like? Sneaky stuff though, like if you got good sneak or whatever, I don't know. Good Before sneak. Patea was the good, the person who was the best at it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm no Patea, but you know, um, I'm going to uh, employ my best '80s uh, ninja movies. You know, Revenge of Shinobi and. Well, uh, if you're if you're up for it, I'm up for it. So if you're yeah. not up for it, then we just all storm in and present. Well, I I, the orc. I think I I think other than storming the gates, I think we need to have. A multifaceted plan here, you know, which doesn't involve skinning the orc alive and wearing his flesh. As a <laughs> we'll Thank do you. that afterwards <laughs> just for fun. Skin <laughs> penis. He's an orc penis. Is so, um, Master Noakes. Does he does he literally have this wand on his person? At all yeah, he said. He said. Probably. Mostly, yeah. His magical wand is like a 30 centimeter uh, cylinder, which you can easily carry uh, in your pocket. But not when you're asleep, right? Time. He's not going to sleep with it. Who has 30 no, centimeter well, pockets, man? It's, <laughs> it's wizards! Probably, wizards have... sleep in it! That's the whole thing! Yes, is, they, they is, need is that a wand in your pocket? <laughs> 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 no, I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> Yeah, so he's not going to uh, sleep, but every time he's going to, he, when he's awake, he's going to have the wand on him, and the wand makes it very hard for us to do anything, right? Because he can, if he can turn a master wizard into a sheep, he can fuck us instantly, can't he? So we have yes. to go. Hey, Jim, he I can bet probably the, I, turn you into a boulder or or a dwarf. Yeah. I bet the wand is in cargo. I bet it is. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good point. Very good point, Dimmy. So we have to wait till night, I guess. And then go in when we think he's asleep. And nin Kaz ninjas in like Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon. And then we just we're ready to go and distract him if uh, if needs be. Yeah, but that's not even a plan though, is it? It's not even a full plan because like Kaz sneaks in and then what? And we walk up and say what? Well, well, we we give him like ten minutes or whatever. We get our we get our fucking stopwatches out. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever, or a sand egg timer. I don't know what what they have in, uh, in medieval. Neverwinter Never Never is known all around the world for its precision water clocks. There you go. Really four, there's clocks four. Now. There's four gorillas, right, and one bear that has yeah, my. They're not. They're not fucking. They're not. They're not like eagles, though, are yeah. they? You know. Yeah, but if Kaz is, gets caught by them without us, like he's. Well, gonna we're get... gonna know, aren't we? They're gonna go like. Bwah! How are we going to get yeah. eaten? Yeah. We'll hear the. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, unless, unless you, okay, okay, you send the cock with Kaz because you can see through the cock's eyes, can't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I believe I can. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got some sort animal friendship. That's just charming them. Beast bond, telepathic link with one beast while in line of sight. Beast has advantage on attacks versus. Crei, Crez, I can say. I don't know. Des, I don't understand what that Cre is. Cre Creatures, yeah, Cree, I can see. Gain yeah. the servers of a familiar, can see through its eyes, it can deliver touch spells. 
So yeah, so the old, the old one-eyed yep. monster. You can yeah. definitely see through his eyes. Yeah. Okay, so we send, we send the cock in with Kaz, and then me and you go and see this geezer and see if we can talk him around. Yeah, if, if we hear like bear or ape noises, <laughs> I guess. What, what you mean if I'm getting bumped to death by gorillas? <laughs> yeah, does, does a gorilla beat Kaz in a one-on-one? -on -one? Probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. Like, or even the bear. Well. Gorilla will definitely fuck up a human one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's a gorilla, it's not just an ape, it's a gorilla. Oh, God. I mean, because ape, it could be anything, it could be a chimp, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to but, be a gorilla. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, 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 <laughs> is it a chimp or a gorilla, we'll ask, we'll ask Gus? One-on-one <laughs> -on -one against a marmoset, I quite fancy, you know. <laughs> you'd but... be fucked against a chimp, to be fair, guys. You'd be absolutely fucked against yeah, a chimp, yeah, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it doesn't really matter whether it's a chimp or a gorilla anyway, actually, come to think about it. <laughs> Just fucking rip your arms off. How Fuck. about we all we all sneak in, but we keep the half-orc with us? But then he's not going to sneak, is he? And he might betray us, because he might... He was already thought he could win against us in the, fur, in the bar. I guess he, he realises he can't win now. But with a one, maybe he thinks the odds are in his favour, so he might... We've got all day to think about it. So we've got to go in at night, right? We've got to go in. The wizard, the wizard likes the orc as well, don't you? Yeah, he does. Not as much as he yeah, likes. Yeah, so maybe, well. maybe, maybe we just barter with this guy, you know, and <clears throat> offer to trade. Um, what do you have to train? The life of his pet orc. <laughs> yeah, he probably. He wants power, doesn't he? he yeah. Wants power, do we have a, like... Do we have a wizard? Do we have a magical thing? Or can we promise him something? Like maybe he wants something. Maybe we can get it for him. Oh, we could offer him a powerful dragon artifact from our from our fourth party member there, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a dragon egg? We've got dragon eggs. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good idea, isn't it? We can offer him dragon anything. Dragon eggs would be definitely something interesting to a wizard. Yeah. You know, like uh, he might need them for magical components or whatever experiments he's performing. But yeah. if you had them, of course. Yeah, well, we've got them. We've got them. Theach, well, you might know Theach, might he? And Fandel, Fandelven, wherever there is. Fan... <sighs> a bit I worse for wear now. The dragon eggs. Fandhaven? Is it? What's the, what's the town? Fandelin. 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 So Theach, you might know Theach and Fandelin. We'll ask, we'll ask him. Oh, you, I'll get the orc up, I'll kick him in the bollocks. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, boys. I don't Do you know, know Theachin Fandel Fan Fin Who? Fandelin? Theach. He's a very Is famous. That's why you kicked me in the balls, you lunatic. I just like doing it. Mumbles <laughs> <laughs> something to himself incoherently, knowing that he definitely won't win. You haven't heard of Theach. He's probably not getting out of this alive. Yeah, he's not. He's not getting out of this alive. Sorry, I didn't say um, that out loud, I just thought it. <laughs> definitely doesn't know him. <laughs> doesn't know Theach. Mm. We, we, we've oh, got I can ask the sheep. Here, we can we? ask the sheep. Ask the sheep. I'll ask the sheep. I'll cast my spell. Ask the sheep if he knows. Uh, if he, if Master Noak will know Theach. The famous Dragonborn. Are they Dragonborn? Or maybe. Dragonborn, yeah. Uh... Well, truth be told, I didn't really let Noak. It's not ours. It's not ours. Go around or meet people. Well, it doesn't he exist? But if he knew him, he might believe it. Uh, I know of him, and he probably heard some rumors or heard something in a tavern. But he didn't really have time to pursue any sort of interests. Mm. He was mostly working for me. Yes, as a slave, essentially. This is a very new you situation. Son of a bitch. Shall we just I mean, shear I... the sheep just to teach him a good lesson? <laughs> you know, being a sheep uh, for a week taught me many things, most of them about grass. But one thing I learned and uh, started to understand is how fleeting human lives are, or sheep lives, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway, my point is, I probably what? should have treated my, my apprentice a little bit better. I mean, I had to uh, be an apprentice for another elf wizard for over 150 years before he taught me my first transmutation spell. And I suppose either sheep or humans have this time. 
Mm -hmm. If you have Maybe a transmutation can... spell, why don't you transmutate yourself? Uh, because, as I've explained before, these hooves and this mouth doesn't really work with magic anymore. Yeah. Right. So I here's just... here's the thing, right? How about we promise him that you teach him ev all of everything you know? How does that sound? Do you think you'll fall for that? <laughs> um. Well, he has all the bargaining cheap chips, and he can just force the information out of me once he gets me back. Mm. He's got he's got Artemis on the payroll, eh? It's gonna be fun for you. <laughs> what do you, what do you think, Cobra? What do you think? I I just think we should probably have a conversation with him, to be honest. And yeah, if he, yeah. um, you know, let's let's just try to find some common ground here because we're not gonna we're not gonna take him one on one, or you know, we're not gonna sort of go in a head headlong conflict with him. So let's just try and appeal to his. He Better can nature. he can just like transform all three of us. Like, yeah, the thing is we've, got, uh, a, we've like, got a sneak attack. We've got a sneak attack because um, he's not gonna he's not gonna ask, he's not gonna acquiesce, is he? Like it, you can ask some details about the wand. Okay, yeah. Does what it have like charges or <laughs> yeah, how does this wand work exactly? <laughs> uh, it's a it's a very powerful magical item which uh, allows you to sh change the shapes of anything you desire into something else. You can even animate inanimate objects. Uh, however, it has some drawbacks. You can use it uh, two, maybe three times per day. Uh, and you need to maintain concentration on the spell for up to one hour if you want to make the effect permanent. Mm -hmm. If you break the concentration, the, the creature or the object polymorphed into something else will return to its pr previous form. Mm -hmm. And the concentration okay. must be uninterrupted. And for example, if you kick somebody in the balls while they're concentrated, <laughs> the, the spell will just go away. Ah. When he says this, I'll say, what, like this? And then just turn around and hoof the blood. Hoof the half orc in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep looks a little bit horrified, but says, yes, something like that. All right, let's go. Are we just going head on then and like try to rip bargain with him? Then he won't, and then we'll have to fight. Like it, I don't know. I don't think we should just go straight in. Well, yeah, no. Now I know that the wand takes like an hour of concentration, or like, cause like, mate, what I can do is that we can bowl in there. I can throw my buckler on the floor, and whichever one of us he does something to, the other one can pick it up and twat him, and then that will stun him. <laughs> yeah, he's and got then... the four gorillas though. Well, yeah, that's a problem. Mm. And the bear. Don't forget about the bear. Yeah, the bear. Never mind a fucking bear. Jesus Christ. Unless we can pick him off, like, before we see him, or... But they're in a tower, aren't they? We can't, like, we can't... We well, it's just... a tower. I'm assuming we go in through the floor, and then we'll meet all these guys on the way there to the wizards. Mm. That's what I'm... I, I mean, call me old-fashioned. We but... can't exactly snipe them, though, can we? We should snipe them. Like, we've got the range. You don't want to go into close quarters with a fucking gorilla, do you? Jesus Christ. All three of us can take one gorilla like that, like really quickly, but it's just if they're all together, <laughs> then that's the problem. Mm. Man, yeah, this is a, this, this isn't a decision you should be making when you're drunk, I tell you. Like, this, this good night's sleep that we've all had, I wish I had it in real life. Because <laughs> if we fuck up, we're dead. Like, it's pretty serious. It's pretty high stakes, isn't it? You know, like, this is... Well, by the sounds of it, we can just talk. And we can talk... And, uh... He ain't gonna give up the the one for anything, though. Mm. I don't think he's gonna turn the sheep back. I mean, I guess we don't need the one back. We, he could turn the sheep back. And then I guess that's a compromise, isn't it? I wish I took bloody... Um, well, the Nok will not be able to take this enchantment off of me. He's not a... He's not powerful enough. And it requires some greater degree of control uh, of magic and another thing that I probably don't have the time to explain right now. He needs the wand to uh, return me to my previous form, or any of you can do it, really. Right. So we can turn him. We can, we can just get the sheep back to human, but then keep Master Nok in charge of the tower, and then and then. Bright staff, whatever his name is, I've already forgotten, can be his apprentice. How's that sound? How's that grab you, mate? Mm. 
I mean, at the end of the day, as soon as Bright itself is transformed, then he'll be power enough to deal with him, won't he? Shine Bright. Uh, Shine Bright. <laughs> as soon as Shine Bright transforms. <laughs> Bright stuff. It's <laughs> almost fucking name. <laughs> Sorry. Well, obviously, I would be able to subdue my apprentice if I'm back in my elven form, but I don't want to hurt him. I, I just want, to, want things to go back to normal. Of yeah. course, I'm somewhat modified. I'm not going to treat him like garbage anymore. Yeah, I, I think he might. I think he might go for this. I think he might go for this then. Yeah, yeah. I think the combination of promising him a new thing, and then it's up to them to have a fight about it later if they want, isn't it? But as long as we get the sheep back to normal, that's all. That's all the sheep wanted from us, wasn't it? Yeah. To pay us a fortune yeah. was to get him back to normal. Yeah. So. He just wants his supply chain refixed, doesn't he? Yeah, Mar Marcus money is probably going to be well, less than been, the sheep's you've money. You've been offered two sources of reward for this for this yeah. quest. Uh, yeah. One from the sheep and one from Marcus himself. Yeah, and I reckon the you. sheep has got a lot more money than Marcus. So I'm more interested in getting the money off the sheep. To be fair, our other option is to kill Noak, kill the sheep, <laughs> and take everything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we should be killing Noak because yeah, that was one of the riders from Marcus, wasn't it? The fact that we didn't kill the wizard. Yeah, but we could kill him. He didn't him say both. anything about Noak. He yeah. didn't want you to hurt uh, Shinebright. Yeah, but we could. Who he has an agreement with. We could, you. though, because, you know, Shinebright could have been killed by Noak. It wasn't our fault. And then and then Noak had already stolen all of uh, Shinebright's belongings. What a, what a shame. It wasn't us. So, we got three options. Head on attack, negotiation, or stealth mission. I reckon yeah. negotiation, like heavy negotiation, like we stitch up <clears throat> Shine Bright as much as it has to, because as long as we don't die. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'd I go for negotiation. I don't want to fight a fucking bear. <laughs> I'll be honest hey, with you. Well, you've already fought one and killed him. That's well, true. they said that no, well, but they, they also said the, the the goat, the the sheep said that like these are good people. These are normal like human beings, aren't they? So once they yeah, get they're chance... basically mercenaries hired by a wizard and then turned into another form to make them more deadly. Yeah, mm. so if we don't like, okay, yeah. so they're not like I, Chloe I've and the people. people. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not they're not better than us. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's mm. head out. Okay. So we'll go on the day then, eh? We'll just go in the day. And... Okay. It's, uh, it's around noon right now. You've yeah. had this conversation for quite some time. Hi, uh, You're taking the orc with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, part of the, he's part of the bargain. So is the sheep. We'll take the sheep with us. Yeah, I okay. can... Uh, cuffed. Yep. Because all we want is we just want this wizard changed back, don't we? Yeah. To human form. Yeah, you can keep your wizard. No, we just need the supply chain like going again. I mean, yeah. We don't necessarily need the wizard, I don't think. Yeah, but, but it's more money, so we might as well yeah. try. We just need to not die, even though we are badasses. But yeah, to be fair, the, the bears and the gorillas aren't as bad as the dude with the fucking staff that could just... Look, he's a country wizard, there you go, amazing. Yeah, but he can only do one of us at a time. Way. <laughs> <laughs> he's a wizard. Then... Yeah, he's a wizard. He can do any master transmuter too. He can mm. grow two cocks if he wants. <laughs> Why hasn't he already then? <laughs> Which one is ape one? <laughs> this one? Yeah. To be fair, this wand is suddenly sounding really appealing. <laughs> 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 Hocus Pocus Horse Dick <laughs> That is basically how magic works in this world and so you can do whatever you want. Oh dear. Yeah, wizards seem have ridiculously tools. OP. To be honest. Yeah. Yes, wizards are ridiculously OP in Dungeons and Dragons. Like incomparably so to other classes. Yeah. Uh, right then, uh, you head out, thanks to the information uh, given you by the wizard turned sheep, you know exactly where to go to find his tower. Uh, rather than stone or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy oak trees. These have been shaped 
and woven to create three thick platforms. The lowest of these platforms is roughly 40 feet across and sits about 10 feet from the ground. The only obvious route up uh, is a gentle slope formed by roots and branches that connects roughly with the main path. Branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers and small trees growing around its edge. By far the largest of the three platforms is the middle one, which looks to be around 60 feet across. It's about 20 feet above the ground and is fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches. You can see evenly spaced, window-sized gaps as uh, well as what appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform. The final, tallest platform is roughly 30 feet above the ground and is much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. Scattered beneath the platforms are two wooden, two small wooden huts and a large outhouse. And you can see uh, three apes oh, in the on the smallest platform, and you can hear some sounds coming from the outhouse. Mm, sounds like a bear. <laughs> uh, the apes haven't haven't noticed you. They're playing cards on the platform. They're playing cards. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they've got like they've got better thumbs than the poor sheep, haven't they? They do have opposable thumbs, yeah. Mm. Monkey poker. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> At least okay. it's not penguins playing chess. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we should have had penguins. <laughs> yeah, now that I think of it, I should have changed the the apes to were penguins. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> oh, uh. God. Uh, right. So. All right. What's your plan here? The apes haven't noticed you. There's something in the outhouse, and uh, you've got Guz. Someone's <laughs> leading him by the manacles tied yeah. behind his uh, his back. I guess it's got to be it's got to be one of us. <laughs> like I want to be able to shoot my bow, and Kaz wants to be able to shoot his. Cr uh, Dimmy wants to be able to shoot his crossbow. So I guess Kaz restraining him is best because then you can just fuck yeah. him on the ground and then punch people if if anyone gets <clears> close. <throat> like you're yeah. the least useful from range, aren't you? So I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the the Gaz is pretty busted after your fight. Like you had a good night's sleep, but he was tied up and nobody took care of his wounds. So he's he's not going to be very useful if he decides to fight. Like a, a small breeze could knock him over. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's good. So yeah. So so Kaz Kaz has hold of Gus. And then Dimmy and I have got our ranged weapons ready, I guess. And then, yep. uh, and I guess we try and like just call out Noak and then just call him out and then see if the apes go and get him or see if we've got to kill them. Is that what you're doing? You're calling out Noak? Nah. Uh, what do you reckon, Kaz? I'm, I'm asking Dim. Uh, Jim. I mean. Well, that's my idea. I, I, I'm asking Kaz and Dim. As you're discussing this, the apes uh, apparently <laughs> heard you uh, because they they let out some uh, ape down ape like sounds, <laughs> leave their card game, and uh, go to the edge of the platform to look at you. You can see that uh, each of them is wielding a great sword, very similar to the one God had. Fuck me! Can we just Monkeys like, with throw... swords. Yep, monkeys what? with swords. Okay. Shoot, I can speak shoot. to animals, right? I can speak to animals. So I'll cast that spell and I'll say, Look, lads, we come in peace. We've got Gus. We've got Shine Bright. We want to speak to Master Noak. That's all. What did you do to Gus? Igor! One of the monkeys shouts. And suddenly the, the, the door of the outhouse uh, busts open <laughs> and a uh, very large bear steps out of it. You, you begin to wonder, how did he fit in the outhouse? <laughs> oh. yeah. Can I, like, smash him with shield? He's not that? very happy. Uh, you just interrupted his lovely session of shitting. Uh. Oh, does he, he didn't shit in the woods, though! <laughs> Is he really a bear? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even shit in the woods, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Your move. Uh, Gus tried to kill us. Gus tried to kill us, you know. So, so he's lucky he's alive, to be honest, right, Gus? You know, we we spared his life. 
so that that's a win-win. It shows the way we're we're upstanding, fine people. We just want to talk. We've got we've got Shine Bright here. We've got Gus here. We're good people. We're not we're not insane mass murderers or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the monkeys, the, the ape uh, eyes widen, uh, narrow, and it looks at Gus and spits on the ground. Says that does sound like Gus. He's always been too fast to reach for the sword. <laughs> I'll, I'll go get Master Nook then. You wait here, right. Igor. Keep an eye on them. And the bear um, roars something uh, <laughs> lower than before. One of the ape leaves, and the others. Uh, keep an eye out on you. The ape goes to the central tower and is missing for three, maybe five minutes and steps out with a, um, a middle-aged man. Mm. Yes, sir. A country wizard. <laughs> middle-aged blonde man who is standing there, there in a, a lavish robe, which seems to be too big for him, like he inherited from an older brother, an older, taller brother. Uh, you can definitely see uh, some weird metal cylinder uh, mm. next to his belt. Uh, <clears throat> there's a hoop going through his belt and it connecting the what you think is the wand to it. Mm. He steps out and says, Oh, thank the heavens. God is alive. I was so worried. And who the hell are you? He reaches for the wand, keeping it, uh, like, keeping his hand very near the wand at all times. You can, you can see his sweating, and uh, his eyes look like a very paranoid person who hasn't got much sleep lately. Mm. Okay, mate. Easy with the wand. <laughs> we want to negotiate some form of settlement here, okay? What um, settlement do you... Who, who are you, anyway? Um, we are just... Uh, we are some adventurers that have been tasked with finding out why the, a supply chain from um, the wizard has been interrupted here. And I don't understand... know anything about uh, any supply chains, and I'm the only wizard around here, as you can see. <laughs> well, well, master. No. As you can see, we have this sheep with us. Oh, you took the sheep with him? Yeah, yeah, we take the sheep with I us. I thought yeah. you didn't have the sheep. Yeah, we take the sheep. Yeah, yeah, we take the sheep. Oh. We take the sheep. Okay. We take um, the sheep. That's part of the deal, isn't it? The sheep. We've got the sheep. And then we can say, because we don't really care what happens to him after we get paid. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so if he wants to keep him and then turn him back into a sheep, that's okay with us as long as we get paid first. <laughs> right? <laughs> We'll see what happens. So yeah. So you've brought my Gus and my sheep to me, and want me to pay you for this? Is that right? Well, we want him to pay us for you to. We want you to turn him back into uh, Shine, Mister Shinebright, whatever he calls himself. Mister Shinebright, this is just an ordinary sheep. What are you talking about, uh, Mister Shinebright? Master Shine Bright for you is missing and has been for a week. Well, I happen to know that this bear here is not an ordinary bear, but he's ego. Yeah, you know, and I've seen your apes. They're not actually apes. Uh, they've been playing poker. You know, of course they're not. They're they're guards turned into apes and bears. Yes, but I I can speak to animals. That's how I know his name's Ego, and I know this is Shine Bright. This is why Gus is still alive. He seems to be taken aback by the fact that he can speak to animals. I suppose he didn't. See that's coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, but why would I turn him back? He deserves what came to him. Well, Do you know how, how it feels to be treated as a servant for 30 years? Well, I do, to Meeting be honest. Meeting his chamber pots, cooking for him, running <laughs> his errands, with nothing being given in return. Do you know how that feels? Well, to be 30 honest. 30 fucking years wasted with this 30 piece of years, shit. 30 years for me... And for Shine Bright, it's just like a week for you, you know. So he he knows what he's done wrong. He's he feels bad. He's had a lot of time to think, eating his grass. He's very very remorseful. It's it's hard for us elven folk to relate to you know sub elven <laughs> humans. <laughs> remorseful. 
I, I thought he was a hero. I th- thought he was the most powerful wizard around. No. And what is he? He's a sham. No. He doesn't have real power. He just has this fucking wand, which he didn't even create. Mm. Nook, Shine Bright said that he was very sorry for the way that he treated you and that he would treat you better. He also said that it took him 150 years. He was also an apprentice once and it took 150 years before he was taught his first spell from his master and he said that he felt that he went harsh on you um, and that obviously when you turned him into the sheep he said he's seen the error of his ways and that he would be better to you. Look, I have no business with you. And you've killed some of my men. I can understand that you've been attacked. Uh, they they were sent uh, with a pretty much an impossible mission of finding a sheep in a giant town. And, well, I can understand why Gaz attacked you and, and all the others. Um, self-defense, all right? But it was unprovoked and they paid the price. I can pay you handsomely for returning this sheep and Gus to me, but I'm not turning him back. Mm. Okay. He will stay as a sheep for at least 25 more years. Well, that doesn't that doesn't solve our problem. Well, what do you do so well, it might. How how much no. can you pay us? How much do you want? Oh, 20,000 gold pieces. 20,000 gold pieces for this sheep. <laughs> I mean, for, for Shine Bright. For He's Shine Bright. For a while. And Gus's um, life. I'm afraid I don't have that much. Mm. It well, might then... take some time for me to, to earn a fortune as the city wizard, but I can pay you half of that. That's pretty fucking good, uh, isn't it? That's pretty <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> A quarter now, I'm going to give you uh, 2,500 right now. And uh, you're going to get seven and a half in, let's say, a year's time. It's not a bad deal, is it, lads? It's not, it's not, a, bad, yeah. it's not a bad deal, is it? Fuck this wizard. Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's not like we've got any moral obligations to anyone, is it? We're out for ourselves. We're not like, we're not like you know... Securing the supply chain for any reason other than our own greed, will we? You know. No, so. but the problem is, is that it's our reputation, right? Because if we do this and we take the money, look, you obviously need to need to think and talk amongst yourselves. So just give me a knock on the door and come on in uh, if you're ready to accept the deal. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Cheers. And he returns to his quarters after saying that Cheers, without buddy. waiting for a response. Right. Then, I, then we whisper and say, do apes and bears have good hearing? <laughs> 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 He's in, just invited us into his room. We can go in there, fucking shank whisper. the cunt. Just whisper, can you hear me to the bear? Oh, yes. All right. You can you can hear a low growl coming from the I was going to do, do a little Adele. You're literally 10 <laughs> feet away from the bear. Him? You are 10 <laughs> feet away from the bear. <laughs> Bear can hear us. Then, bear so. can hear us. It can definitely hear us. So we have to communicate in symbols, or like. No, you can just you can just take like twenty steps away, and they won't let's be able walk to away. Let's, let's walk away. away. Let's, let's walk away. Let's okay. walk away. You, you go back to the main road. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, uh, out of earshot. At the end of the day, right? I think our reputation is more important than the money. Like, because if we're gonna get work and be trusted. Yeah. We need a reputation. Like, if people hear about this, like they're not yeah, going to work for us. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. They're not like, going to pay won't us if we're just going to traitorize everyone. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Cool. As you're kind of the voice of reason in this party, Kaz, it dawns on you that Marcus gave you this mission because he trusted you to, to fix his uh, supply issues. And if you bail that just for a measly... Two and a half thousand gold. Uh, he's probably not going to be very happy about it. Measly, that's eight hundred quid each. <laughs> <laughs> Full force have been underpaying us. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I like fucking hell. <laughs> I think I think we need to come up with an alternative strategy here. Uh, we need to gain. We need to get that one. Um, so I think we need to go to Plan B, which is 
ninjaing the shit out of that one. Oh, I, yeah, I, I think he's invited us. We've in, he's invited us up to his room, hasn't he? And and there might not be guards there, right? You know, I guess maybe it's like the monkeys will They'll come. They'll be with there us. like that, mate. They'll be there within seconds, mate. Yeah, the minute we, fucked, we the minute we show our hand, that's it. It's done. Yeah. Um, we need to. Like. We need to, well, I, I think we need to stick with Marcus and we need to get the sheep transformed back to a human. Now we've got and the sheep and we've got Gus. I think we've still got some, we've still got some options here. Everyone, we didn't get, we didn't to get to hear the other option. Like you were just so intent on the money that we didn't hear the other Sorry, option. I it's a good, it's a good thing Trent's not here. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, yeah, Trent, 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 oh, God. We would have been screwed. We'd have to, we, she'd have actually taken the money by now, wouldn't she? Yeah. She'd yeah. literally given up the sheep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let Let's go up there. Just be reasonable. Be nice. Try and get this solved peacefully. Yeah. This okay. conversation needs to carry on. Like this isn't. You approach. Oh, can I select multiple layers at the same time? I've got no idea. Neither do I. Sorry. Tren would have thrown a dagger at them. <laughs> I'm really handy with a dagger, to be fair. <laughs> Just don't drop your fucking warhammer for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. good. Uh, as you approach the door to the main tower area, um, you come closer, you knock on it. Uh, there's a loud uh, bang noise coming from the door itself, probably a magical alarm. The apes behind you and the bear stand up, stop doing whatever they were doing before, which was eating a fried uh, roasted chicken, which they had on a, over a fire pit. Fried or roasted? <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, roasted. roasted. <laughs> you can uh, fry it on a, on a fire pit. You need a frying pan, right? So it's definitely roasted. Okay, sorry. I just needed to clear that up. That was my bad. Uh, I love it. And uh, the doors I, I some dry swing inwards. <laughs> the doors swing inwards, letting you in. And you come into the wizard's tower, which is uh, in, inside uh, what, the biggest oak tree. It's made entirely out of wood, although there is uh, a lot of um, glass in, on glass vial everywhere around, probably some magical ingredient. Uh, you can see uh, fantastical creatures inside jars floating around. Uh, this is definitely the the wizard workshop area. Where the hell is Jimmy? <laughs> you get in, the wizard turns around, Master Noak turns around, and says, You ready to accept my proposal? Wow. Take it away, Kaz. Yes, take it away, Kaz. Yeah, we're ready to accept your proposal. Um, and I'm gonna walk towards the wizard. And, uh, you know, in a sort of friendly fashion, mm -hmm. um, I sort of slightly put my head over my shoulder. I look at Jim like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do a performance check for me, please. <laughs> 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 Keep your pants on, cats. <laughs> he screams to Bokey. <laughs> yeah. uh, 16. 16, okay. Um, as you're approaching... Oh, wait, I actually have to roll for the wizard. As you're approaching the wizard, trying to do whatever sneaky thing you came up with, uh, the wizard apparently sees through you and says, oh, I guess... I guess you're you're not ready to accept it the way I wanted. And pulls out his wand and points at you. Uh, can you can you please do? Can you please make a safe check on uh, what is this? I'm so gonna get turned into a fucking aardvark, can I? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, it'd be more handable. Mm -hmm. What the hell is the saving throw for for this wand? Mm. Yeah, I don't even know what a saving throw is. No, neither do I. Huh? What do you roll it against? 
Uh, you it's basically it. to save me against being turned into something where I can lick my own bollocks easily. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Wait, why would you want to save against that? <laughs> it's oh, been a few years since I could lick my own bollocks. So. <laughs> Those were the days. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, yeah, wisdom um, is a minus one. Okay. Um, he points the wand at you and you can feel your flesh slowly... Uh, bubbling, uh, you can see it change, and you can feel your bones <laughs> cracking a little bit. But you you manage to get a hold of yourself and remember who you are and oh, what, what is your <laughs> this best shape, and uh, you you resist the spell. Uh, that's where uh, the alarm sound sounds again, and the ape <laughs> bursts through behind you. And uh, well, let's roll for initiative. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god. Raw for initiative. Okay. Eighteen. Oh, big initiative. Okay. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's not a D twenty. It's all gone wrong. I just got rid of what everything I'd rolled. It's so sad because I, I wanted to show everybody afterwards because it was insane the rolls I got. I rolled a 14. Oh my god, I'm terrible. total or before huh? modifiers? 14 total? I don't have any modifiers, I don't think, for, what, for uh, initiative. Dexterity. Uh, oh, plus influence. one, plus one dexterity, yeah, yeah so, so 15. 15. Yeah, 15. Okay. Yeah, I've got plus five, Has but I've only got nine total. <laughs> uh, nine total, okay. Jim. Uh, apes. Right, right, right. Uh, Kaz, you, you move faster than everyone else. Uh, you can react before anything else happens. Okay. Um, I'm going to rush towards the wizard as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to try to do is restrain the wizard. Um, so, basically... Uh, the Grapple old him, right? Yeah, I'm going to grapple him. I do have a... a bonus yeah, you have to grappling. hit him with a, an unarmed attack, and if you succeed, you make a grapple check. So... Yeah. Attack him first. Okay. Choke him out, Kaz. Choke him out. Yeah, shackle him. Yeah. Shackle Ooh, him. 17. That is a pretty, pretty good. Excuse me? 17. 17, okay. Uh, you hit him, and now we make uh, strength tests to see who grappled whom. Okay. Or, or do you manage to get a hold of him where he slips away? Uh, 13. Uh, does my strength modifier play yes. into that? Uh, yes. Plus 3 strength modifier, so 16. Okay, so, uh, so you. You hit him with your face, uh, with your uh, hand straight in the face, and while he's distracted by the shocking pain, uh, <laughs> you, you grab a hold of both his hands, and you're basically in control right now. Oh, hey. Okay. Uh, now, Dim. Uh, can I stun him with my shield, basically? Can I charge? <clears throat> we need someone on monkey watch. Okay, <laughs> Dimmy, you need to be on monkey watch with Which your shield. Wait, where's the monkey? I can't see behind the monkey. you. Behind monkeys you. are behind yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> it's humorous behind, chimp yeah. and a green one the and a red one. Connecting the platforms, they're gonna bust in through any second now. And okay, can I, can I, this. can I like, like back up against the wall, like by the door, with my shield ready, and do like a uh, Overwatch, so whoever comes <laughs> running. Whoever comes, Dimmy's gonna go. whoever comes running through the door first, I'm just going to bonk with my shield and stun them. Absolutely. Is that a, you is that a possible that. thing? You, you prepare an action to slam into the first person that get, goes through the door. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Jim? Right. I'm oh, sorry, gonna... no. Uh, Noke. Noke mm -hmm. uh, tries to break himself free from your grasp. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're going to make uh, strength tests again. You roll, Kaz. He's trying to okay. break free. Okay. Uh, I roll a 10. I rolled an 11, but he's way weaker than you. He uh, He's a surprisingly agile wrestler, but he doesn't have the raw strength and power that you have. Uh, so you, you keep him in place. That is risk. Can I... Uh, um, can no, I shout... The... I need to shout over to Jim, really, uh, while I've got him restrained. Put your cock out. You can, you can say, like, speaking is not an action. You can say whatever you want. Okay. Jim, I've got him restrained. We need to grab his wand. 
<laughs> oh, Jimmy will oh. do that. <laughs> do a little reach around. No, no, just shackle him. Just shackle him. Oh, have yeah. we already oh, yeah. used the shackles on the yeah. orc gaze. Yeah, the orc's got the manacles on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, that's a good idea. The, the first ape uh, comes through the door and uh, Dim tries to slam into it with his shield. Do a, a, a melee attack with the shield. Oh, uh, right. Oh no. <laughs> You've got your inspiration point, Dimmy. Yeah, inspiration. I rolled a two, so I'm going to use my inspiration. You also have your special War Priest ability, which lets, lets uh, you add plus 10 to any attack roll once mm. per day. Okay, I'll do my special War Priest ability. So it's a 12. 12. That should, that should Just be enough. You slam yeah. into the first ape uh, with your shield, uh, it lands on its ass. Next to uh, Jim, next to Daka, Oof. and Got it's him. definitely stunned. It's it's harmless on the floor somewhere around here, and you uh, the for the force of your impact has pulled you behind the the ape, so you're around here. But the next ape comes in now. Oof. And uh, sees you two tumbling on the ground and goes for uh, for Daka. No. He's already got its uh, greatsword pulled out, and he's slashing away at you. No. Oh shit! Natural twenty. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh no, Mr. Donut Man. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, five nine points of damage. Oh my god, that's pretty brutal. Okay. That was that was big. Yeah, so we need to we need to sort the wizard out and then and then what? And then when they they stop come through. The last ape comes in behind uh the previous one and charges for Kaz trying to free uh Master Noak, seeing as you two are occupied. Do I get like stab you oh, in the back armor, while you're okay. gra grappling? Oh, shit. What's your armor class, Kaz? Uh, armor class is thirteen. Okay. Uh, you he know? stabs you uh, in the back while you're wrestling with Noak. Oh God! You take uh, ten points of damage. Oh my, oh, my God! God. Oh. Fuck me! Jim and Jimmy, you had one job. Seriously. Hey, I saw it one. <coughs> Jimmy didn't. I rolled oh. shit. I rolled a three for initiative. As you're tumbling and uh, tossing and turning with all your opponents, oh, the bear fuck. comes in, uh, goes around the ape, and tries to bite your hand off, the one with, with which oh. you're holding Noak. God. Oh my god. We should have rolled But he misses. No. But he misses and instead lands uh, on his snout. Hitting the hardwood floor. <laughs> Did you roll a one? <laughs> yes, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Kaz, your turn. You're wounded. You've got Jim. A, a, Jim. An ape stabbing you in the in the back with your sword. Jim. Yeah. So you're, you're still managing Choke to hold. Choke him out. Rope. Choke him out. Jim hasn't done anything yet. By the way, you're you haven't snake. done anything. I haven't done you're anything. Sweat? Really? Yeah, oh, I'm I rolled an eight. You. Sorry, your I'm turn then, Jim. Daka, daka, daka. You're the last one. Yep, daka, daka, daka. Cock's your out. Cock comes out. Cock is out. <laughs> Unleash it on the fucking the fucker right in my face. It was just stab me. Oh, uh, you're kind of in the way. He can only attack uh, the other ape, the one Dimmy stunned. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You can, you can do him. Oh. Do your attacks then. Just... You've got advantage because he's stunned. Oh, nice. So I roll twice and pick the highest, yeah? Yes. Right. Um, that is a 14 plus 4, 18. Yep. Which is um, 6 damage. And then the other one is a 9, which is probably a miss, isn't it? Uh, both, both are fine. Uh, oh. He is stunned, so he cannot really dodge the attacks. Brilliant. The cock latches firmly onto its throat and tears it out of its claws. Oh, God, the cock Definitely is... Definitely dead. The cock is OP as fuck, isn't it? Honestly, it's like the best fighter in this entire warband. I know. 
way more effective than we are. Yes. If we had a damage stat, I'm pretty sure the cop would have easily racked up the most damage out of yeah, all of us. Yeah, you fucking right. killed that troll as well, didn't he? In the first one, he killed the troll. Like, he's fucking awesome. That's just, yeah. that's just uh, your cock. What about you? Um, I guess. I... Help Kaz. I want to help Kaz, but like there's a there's oh, a monkey right in, in my guess. face. Yeah, there's a monkey right in my face. So I guess I just got to shank him. So it's as simple as that, isn't it? I've got a I've got a long sword. They did they don't have rules for bastard swords, which I was quite sad about. Um, really? That's sad. But there I've used got... to be in previous editions. There definitely were bastard bastard swords. Yeah, but I've, all I've got they is did a, like a, a little bastard, bit more damage. And he's got a sword. Well, hey. Hey, that was... well, hey. I just gotta shoot him with a long shoot him with a long sword. That's a proper dacker, isn't it? Shoot him with a long sword. Going yeah. up, yeah, well, with a long pace. sword and, and go go at it. Uh, yeah. Roll for attack. I have to stab him. Uh, I rolled an eleven. Oh, that's unfortunately not enough. Although you hit the ape, it's the uh, tuft can re reflect the blow. Mm. And uh, although it got a nasty scratch, it's not nothing major. Tragedy. This calls for a forward roll. Well. Um, Kaz, <laughs> your turn. Um, so I've have I, I've still got hold of the wizard, yeah? Yes. You're bleeding, uh, in pain. A bear is trying to kill you, but you still have got hold of the wizard. All yeah. the martial training paid off. Yeah. Um, right. So obviously my hands are busy holding his hands. So I'm just going to drop the nut on the wizard. Like <laughs> properly headbutt him right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, that is fight. that's horrific. <laughs> Go on then. Roll for not a melee and arm attack. Not, not my first rodeo, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she's well, she's since, facing since you're, to oblivion. <laughs> since you're holding him uh, steady in your hand and he wasn't able to break free, you hit him automatically, so just roll for damage. Four. Uh, D8? Yep, D8 uh, plus strength. Uh, five plus three, eight. Eight, okay. You slam him uh, in the f in the nose with your forehead. Uh, all the force you can muster put behind this blow. And he is visibly stunned, but uh, still conscious. Jeez. And still trying to escape. <laughs> Mate, that must have shattered his nose. His nose is broken and he's bleeding yeah. profusely. Wow. Like a tomato Fair. thrown at a wall. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay um, that is your action. Um, we still need to get we still need to get this one, don't we? And I'm so while I'm doing this, I, I I'm literally the shouting out. the wand, boys, the wand. Tim, your turn now. Uh, the ape which you stunned with your shield is now dead. Its throat torn out by the cock. I need to I cock. need to hit the bear, don't I? I need to hit the bear. As an ape uh, between you and the bear. So, is there any, like, furniture that I can jump off of and leap over, or...? No, yeah. it's at least, it's at least, uh, one, two, three, fifteen feet away, so it'll I... be a hell of a jump. Can I, can I not, like, run up the wall sideways and, uh... No, you're nowhere near the wall. There's, there are people or, and or animals, uh, separating you from the wall. Okay, so what you're saying is an ape in front of me. I've got to just smash the ape with the shield. There is I? an ape in front of you. Yeah, I just smash the ape in the, in, in the, with the shield. Go on then. Uh, no roll forward roll! <laughs> I don't even uh, forward roll, I've been denied. Denied my forward roll. <gasps> or you can roll. You can roll between that, the ape's legs if you want. I'm smashing. I'm smashing the ape with the shield. I rolled a ten. Plus. Uh, there are no. Hang on. I don't. No, it's a melee are. attack. So you, you're uh, like strength or I think. Oh, strength. Yeah, strength is uh, plus two. Uh, oh, Twelve. 12 then. Okay, you you hit the ape. You can tell us how you did it. I, I, I literally, like, because it's a little buckler, it's not like a, a thing, so like, I obviously glanced up at the wall thinking, can I hit the bear, and I, I was looking for tables, couldn't hear, and so I just, bonk, straight on the back of the head, and uh, stun, stun the nuts bonk. out of him. <laughs> it, is a, it is a pretty big silverback gorilla, but uh, you're, pretty, you're a pretty strong dude, well, half-orc. And uh, you've got a magical buckler, so you hit the ape straight in the face, and it goes down uh, like a boxer in the 12th round. <laughs> Stunned, but still alive. 
Or like me in the first. <laughs> or you in the first, yes. Yeah. Um, who's, who goes now? Nook. Uh, Nook is trying to escape your grasp once again. Okay. Oh, one really slushed face. <laughs> we'll make a strength The elephant effect. man. Uh, strength. So. Gang, gangs of New York going on here. Three. Oh, Any inspiration point? Any inspiration oh. point? He needs um, another one. He doesn't have one, do my ass. He pulls away from you, uh, putting all his strength behind his, his movement, and uh, both his hands escape your grasp. And he's free, although right next to you. Uh, it's time for the, the last ape. Where is this last ape? Is well, this the one fucking that's... me? Yeah. All right, Jim. Mate. You know, I've just done the one in front of me. All right. I'm not, uh, I wasn't the... having a go. I was just saying it's the one who's fucking me. <laughs> Did like nine damage last turn. Well, last sort your cock out, and then we'll, we'll get it done. He went, he went for the sleepy one, the bastard. And it lets out a bestial roar and uh, tries to chop off your hands. Oh no, uh, Jim. At least go for my toes. <laughs> but it but it misses <laughs> miserably. Uh, it, yes. It's not used to its new body, and the yeah. the sword glances off uh, the nearby wooden wall harmlessly. Yeah. Doesn't do anything to you. Yeah. And the bear. Oh god! Yeah, seeing yeah. as uh, as no escapes uh, your grasp, the bear uh, goes in for the kill, trying to ram you over. Yeah. Uh, but you manage to dodge away. You jump over uh, the bear as as it charges you. So uh, the bear, and it rams into the wall uh, across the room, and you're still in the same uh, the same spot. Just jumped over it like a kung fu master. Mm -hmm. The bear is stunned. It just hit its hit hit its head on the wall. Oh, brilliant! It's looking pretty good. Cool, it's it? it's stunned for for, for long. Uh, it's your turn, Jim. Cock. Cock, kill the gritter on the floor, come on. Ah, uh, no, 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 we've got to go for no, can't we? We've got to go for no. I've got <laughs> to get... Is free now. He's going to be able to cast some spells next turn. I'm going to backwards roll. Yep. Away from this gorilla. <laughs> yep, do an acrobatics check. <laughs> Are you really playing D&D &D and this are rolling everywhere? Like, honestly... <laughs> Have you ever lived until you've rolled in D&D? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that like is a three. A three. <laughs> that is a thirteen. Is if the thirteen is the thirteen? Well, can you do you tell like how does the game work? Do you tell me what I need to roll or not? You tell me what you rolled, and I tell you if you succeeded. Ah, uh, so I've got to decide the. I've got to decide the inspiration point before I know, right? Uh, yes. Before I tell you if you've succeeded or not. Yeah. That's when you decide. Thirteen. I think thirteen might be good enough. I'll I'll keep thirteen. Let's go. Okay. You you manage to roll away from the ape. It, it tries to oh. catch you with the greatsword as you're moving away, but it only manages to scratch the floor. Glorious. And I'll shoot Nok in the fucking face. <laughs> what? No, no, no! Don't kill him. I don't okay. give a shit, mate. I don't give a shit. Uh, He's roll not. Uh, He's not. You roll backwards. Yep. Somewhere around here. So we've got a clear. Line of fire. Yep, twenty-four hour old. <laughs> That's can impossible. We, can we? Can we? What? That's impossible. How'd you roll twenty-four? Oh, sorry, I rolled a seven damage? plus. I rolled seventeen plus seven. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, how much damage do you do with that thing? Uh, it is eight damage. I can't believe you're killing him, Jim. I'm not. Fucking. I'm not okay with this. Fucking. You shoot him in the left arm. Uh, your bolt piercing the muscle and going through, uh, hitting the wall behind him. Nice. He is in extreme pain, bleeding from two uh, pretty big wounds. Good. But he still manages manages to stay on his feet. We can't risk him casting the spells and that, can we? You know, we've got to try and take him uh, out. Kaz, your turn. Yes. Um, I'm going to go for the wand. So. Hey. <laughs> with both hands or <laughs> I'm gonna grab that shaft with both hands. <laughs> um, We've got another game! Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh. <laughs> I don't need to do that shit again. It's on the internet. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of, Kaz. No, no, it's right, yeah. Perfectly natural. 
<laughs> yeah. Moving another man's wand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So basically, um, yeah, because he's he's clearly in pain. He's distracted. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for the wand. Um, try to. <laughs> 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 no, no, oh, oh, yeah. First, Fears I want you to me. make. Uh, now's, now's my chance. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna beat uh, him off. With and if you succeed, uh, I'm gonna need you to make a slate of hand check to see if you can snag the one. Away. Uh, Seventeen <laughs> on the first okay. row. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And seventeen. <laughs> Not really? second row. Knowing that this is really your only chance of winning this fight, uh, you manage to hit him, hit the wizard with your elbow square in the solar plexus. <laughs> and while he's uh, recoiling in pain, you snag the wand away, and now it's in your hands. Yes. <laughs> Get up there. Yeah, have, have you got a bonus action? Can you like point it at him and turn him into a frog or something? Or um, uh... and seeing this. Seeing mm. that the, he's lost the wand, Noak lying on the pain, barely able to breathe, but he manages manages to say, "Stop! I surrender. <laughs> Don't yes. use that thing on me." Can can I like speak to the animals now and say, "No, your spell stop. Uh, spell already uh, stopped working." Because we've got to kill the animals. Then. What about the scroll? We got the scroll, right? You do have a scroll, yeah. Can I fumble for a scroll and get it out, or is that too yeah, much? Yeah, I mean, you have to read the scroll while you're in the I mean, the, the animals mm. can hear, no, can, uh, can surely, understand They can understand surely. him, okay, well, on, no, that makes on. sense, yeah, he's employing them, yeah, yeah, all right. Surely, so. hang on, hang on, isn't the first action to point the wand at the sheep and get him transformed back no, to No, 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 because, because I would just thought they might not understand, but obviously they can understand him, because he's, he's the boss, Yeah, they, he, they so. can understand him, he's, he's got a... Uh, You've got a thing that allows him to speak to animals, to his employees, easily, yeah. and they can understand him, and vice versa. But as you, as the commotion of battle dies out, you you take a look at the wand, Kaz, and you can see that there's something wrong with it. Like someone has hotwired the thing, did mm -hmm. some weird modifications. Like there's the cylinder going around it. Uh, there's are some cracks, and it. Uh, Something is wrong about it, and as you touched it the first time, you definitely felt a little shock, like a small electrical shock coming from the wand to your arm. Mm. Okay. Um, in that case, I uh, yeah, oh, I don't know if I want to necessarily use it. Um, uh, I'm I'm tempted to break the friggin' wand. Mm -hmm. I gotta be honest. Well. That's not part of the terms and conditions, is it? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> we got, we got, we can't break the wand until the wizard is back to human. Yeah, form. yeah. Break, look, so, break so, the so. No, no, because surrendered. I guess his goons have surrendered because he yeah, has. The, the, yeah, the, the ones who live. The bear is still stunned on the floor. Uh, yeah. Doesn't really know what's going on. The, the one of the the apes dropped the sword on the floor. Uh, they basically retreated to the to the middle platform right. pulling the bear out with them right so i say we uh noakes on the floor bleeding but still alive he's not in danger of death is he no probably so we, not we don't have he's to we don't fine. have to uh we don't have to administer a first aid to him um no, not really. hey, okay, i'm gonna ask is, i'm gonna ask to um, smash the bits yeah i'm gonna and, ask uh, him while well, this, this is happening, the, the sheep comes in. Yeah, the sheep. I was going to say, we need to get the sheep in. Goes, Meh. <laughs> All right. can, Meh. I cast the, can I cast the spell again? Uh, you it? can use the scroll. You've used your spell. Use the spell, day. right. Well, yeah, I'll use the scroll. Smart saving the scroll, wasn't I? Clever, clever, Jim. Always save your scroll. consumables. <laughs> and you can now speak with animals once again. We... Hello, oh, sheep. And without killing Noak, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. What well, now? Cobra Kaz has noticed there's something with this wand. Do you know? Do you know what's wrong with the wand? Well, can you show it to me? Yeah, without you touching it. <laughs> You're showing the wand, and and he go. The sheep becomes visibly distressed and said, "Oh no, Noak has done some." heinous modifications to this thing like he shouldn't have done this he didn't know what he was messing with i believe uh this one should still serve our purpose but it might malfunction 
Mm. I hope he didn't uh, he didn't use it on any of you, although you're not a gibbering pile of flesh uh, he... on the floor, so probably not. <laughs> he tried he tried to use it on me, but um, my uh, basically uh, my superior constitution uh, resisted. The power right, of crease. <laughs> yeah. Thank whatever divine power that was watching you, because uh, it might have went very wrong for you. Yeah. Okay. Do, um, we, do we believe him? I guess. We I have... think that yeah, you can I use the wand to, to turn me back into my original form, but uh, it might not be a safe process. Like I might not survive the, the whole ordeal. What do you or want? Or whoever is subjected. What do you want? What do I want? I you want, want you to get me out of this sheep form at whatever cost. Okay. Uh, there, I'm ready there... to die. I, I I cannot spend another day in this wretched form. Okay. This is, this is in the oh, no, 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 no. Before we kill you. Oh, yeah. Give us your money. How how do we fix the supply chain for Marcus to get his Oh, special... Marcus. I, I forgot about him doing all this. Well, I guess I'm the only one who can hook him up with whatever he needs. So and how, how I do you do that? You're can out we, of luck. We, uh. He's a wizard, Dim. Well, give us all our money first. Tell us where all the money is so that we can take it if you die. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot open my uh, safe until I'm human. Well, at least tell us where it is. Where 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 any valuables are that we can have if you don't if you die? Because we, we want valuables. All my valuables are in a, a safe inside my bedroom. Okay. Uh, but you won't be able to open it if you're not a wizard yourself. Can I, can I detect evil on the wand? Uh, the wand is not evil, Dim. It is an inanimate object. It doesn't have any... Is uh, Nok evil? Yeah. Is Nok evil? Yes, Nok is evil. Mm, we should have killed him. <laughs> Nok is definitely evil. The sheep is not evil. Mm. And that's all you can see in this room. We should have killed him. We, we can, about that you still early, can kill we? him. We can still kill him. We like, can kill we? him. Um, so we think. So now we think. No, has well, he has tampered with the thing. But I mean, I guess. Threaten him. Threaten him. Us. Like grab him. Oh, slam yeah. him. Against oh the wall. yeah. All right. It's waterboarding time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we go. We go. Wait. Wait. What have right. you done for this one? Waterboarding I, in shitty, I, uh, in bare, shitty latrine water. <laughs> I've made some modifications to it, which allowed me to use this one more often than than Silver Shine Bright ever could. All right? Can I can I choke slam him through a table? Well, he's almost dead and bleeding profusely. <laughs> okay, so he's not going to resist. Table. I want to choke, but I can't. I want to rock like... bottom him through a table, Tim. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Like if if I can't do that, can't we need to know. We need to know. We need to. Yeah. Well, he said he modified like it. A... So we could use it more often. Have you? Oh, you <laughs> tried to use it. Have you used it today or not? Mm, well, yeah, I tried to. You tried turn to use it. Yeah. Your friend there into an anteater. Mm. So, so how do we? How do we get it back to its? Well, I shall say to the sheep. I sheepy, whatever your name is, fucking bright. Shine bright. Bright. Mr. Brightside. Right. Hey. Hey. Uh, he's tried to use the one once already today. Do you want to just wait till tomorrow or do you want to go back today? Right, right now. No, no. Do it now. It, it won't change a thing. It, it doesn't matter if he used it or if he hasn't. The okay. one has been tampered with and it might as well burn this tower down with us in it. Or okay. it might do the thing it was designed to do. Go I on then, know. Kaz. To turn him back. No, make your, make your. It's all on you, Kaz. What yeah. you, you want me to do this? No, you got to make the decision yeah, whether we yeah. do this or not. Yeah. Well, I was going to pass the wand, the wand to That's Jim. True. To be fair. <laughs> you know, no. Oh well, I'll do it. I'll yeah, do it. If you give me the no. wand. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not renowned for my magic prowess. No, maybe, so. maybe, maybe. But I'm an Kaz, elf. Maybe, you're, yeah, but Kaz, yeah. you're a good guy, where Jimmy's a bad guy. Yeah, maybe so. someone good, of, um, pure of heart needs to do this. Yeah. And clearly, you know, I'm I'm world renowned for <laughs> my purity of heart and yes. my kindness of spirit. So, yeah, <laughs> let, oh, and I'll do it. Hocus pocus. Oh no, yeah, some of the inspiration, some of the inspiration. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, no, hang on, hang on. Right, Is, have we got any buffs to, like? 
Oh yeah, yeah. Whoever's got the highest like wisdom or whatever, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Is, is, is the thing that it's important. Intelligence. Like I've got wisdom. Yes. I've got okay. wisdom plus two. Intelligence. Intelligence. Yeah, I've got yeah. intelligence one. And inspiration. Yeah, I haven't got ins I haven't got intelligence, but I've got wisdom plus two. Right. So i I've got the inspiration point and intelligence one. So I should do it, right? If if we do it, I think we should. Yeah, do it. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can you can grip the shaft. Oh, thank yeah, you very yeah. much, oh baby. Roll an extra twenty, Jim. I'll roll it. All so right. I roll the dice then, yeah. So you point the wand at the sheep, it's and you visualise it turning gym back power. into an elf. <laughs> it crackles, um, and emits a sort of pinkish cloud which envelops the sheep. Uh, you can hear a horrible scream coming from the. <laughs> from the cloud uh, someone in uh, in awful amounts of pain and uh, a second later the the mist uh, fades away and you can see a blonde elf standing there a little bit shocked and uh, gasping for air but definitely alive and without any additional organs that you can see <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> you we must didn't have been turn good. Him inside out like the fly then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's not just a mess of flesh on the floor going, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank the heavens, you've made it. How will I ever repay you? Oh. How about 20,000 gold coins? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, as uh, Shine Bright uh, is. Starting to move away towards his apprentice to check up on him. Uh, where is the? <clears throat> I guess he's still gonna be the sheep because yeah, I don't I have any other yeah, tokens. It's gonna have to be. Yeah. Uh, he's oh. he's examining him and uh, uh, muttering some incantation, trying to stop the bleeding. Probably. He says, "Well, uh, I may have uh, may have lied a little bit uh, when it comes to to." the amount you'll be given as reward. You see, I've only moved here recently and it took me a lot of resources to uh, to hire all these guards and set up the whole operation and, and taking care of the wand and I'll have to repair this thing again. Uh, all I can offer you is uh, 500 gold pieces. No, that's unacceptable. What we'll do is... We'll take choke slam him, <laughs> choke slam him for a table. We'll take ten percent of what you make, um, forever. <laughs> I'm giving you five hundred gold pieces, and that's my final offer. You can take it, or you can be forcefully expelled from this tower. We should have. We should have had a fucking. We should have put him in manacles. We should have put the sheep in manacles, shouldn't we? <laughs> We're just not weird at all. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll throw you something extra. Whenever you need anyone to cast any transmutation magic for you, you bring me the, the components and I'll do it for free. Whenever you need. Okay, can you turn things into gold? Sure. Okay, yeah, that's okay then, yeah. <laughs> we need gold! <laughs> Especially when Tren's not around, so we can actually keep it and she won't give it all the fucking dragon bomb. <laughs> can you assure us that we've re-established the, su the supply train? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Well, business will return to normal. Marcus can expect his next delivery within a week, perhaps. It will take me some time to sort all this mess around. And then, of course, I have to have a very long talk with my apprentice. Yeah. But you can assure Marcus everything will be taken care of. Okay. okay. 500, 500 In fact, uh, I can give you one batch of his ingredients to take with you, so oh, you have thanks. something to show him. Thanks. How about six hundred? Then that's two hundred each. That's that's easier to work out because we've we've got these little sheets that we take with us everywhere we go, where we write fine, down how much fine. money we've You've got. Probably saved my life, and you didn't cost me the life of my best apprentice I've had in my life. So I'll give you six hundred gold pieces, two hundred each. Thanks. And whenever you need transmutation magic, just come over, and I'll. By the, by, by the way, Mr. Brightside, I detect evil in your apprentice. Yeah. And? He's an ambitious human wizard. Of course he's a little bit evil. All Just of humans you know. are. Just letting mm. you know. 
Just saying. They're too short-lived to, to stick to principles or morals. I knew this about Nuke uh, from the day I took him in. Never trust the sheep, hey. Never this trust the wizard, yeah, honestly. Yeah, motherfuckers. Uh, he tosses you uh, a bag of gold and uh, hands you a little ornamental chest, uh, which mm. probably contains the ingredients Marcus was looking for. Glorious. Well, I say um, we got away with that a little bit lightly there, didn't we, really? That was yeah. uh, basically down to my quick thinking, uh, retrieving the wand. Yep, Ripping very good. Firmly, very good. Hands. Grabbing, a, to, grabbing the man and fumbling be, for his wand worked out great. We need to be careful, <laughs> because the, the problem is, is we, like, like, every time we play this, it's like, we don't know the difference between good and evil, and we don't know whether the actions we're making are, like, Good or evil, like mm -hmm. I don't know. it's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? Like yeah. something you do might seem evil to one person, but might see, seem totally okay to some someone else. Yeah. Uh, if you <laughs> hurt somebody, then they'll probably come after you after some time has passed, or they've prepared enough. Yeah, it's funny as well because it's like you know, like you're doing things because you've got to do them, right? You're not going to just say like, "No, we're not going to do that job," are you? <laughs> End of the session, lads. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, we had to do this. We had to do this quest, didn't we? Do you know what I mean? So, like, that that's a bit strange as well, isn't it? In terms of, like... Because there's well, been times... Can, when you, you can say, always say no, and I would uh, find a way for you to to actually do it, even though you didn't want it in the first place. Mm. Wow, that sounds like terrible. A lot of things <laughs> that you did didn't really stick to the scenario uh, that was in this adventure that <laughs> no Falsley gave me. <laughs> Uh, no way! I thought, we won. I thought we won it. I had to improvise a fair bit, but Glorious. we've managed to go to get to the end and you've successfully uh, finished the quest. Oh, and you get 500 experience points each Ooh, for this. Thank you very much. Glorious. Not enough level up, can we, but can we, we're almost Can we there. make sure Trend doesn't get them? <laughs> well, yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't here, so she doesn't. Here, so she doesn't. We get 200 bar each because she's not here. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't have to know about the gold. No, she she wasn't here. She was puking her guts out. Yeah, we came back yeah, empty-handed. What a tragedy! <laughs> uh, massive thank you, red hair mate. Yeah. Yes, like, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. I had loads of fun. Yeah, I haven't done this in years. Yeah. Like at least 10 years, I haven't DM'd a mm. session. It was it was great. We could tell. We could tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were great. You were yeah. great. Thank there's, you so there's much. Us <laughs> thank you so much red hair absolutely amazing thank you kaz and dimmy as always thanks for watching everyone red hair. yeah brilliant show mate brilliant. yeah it was great thank you so much thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic hey glorious <laughs>